Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Mm -hmm. And we have a big show for you tonight. An impromptu surprise show. Surprise it's a Thursday. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve show. <laughs> Here, Do you have your champagne ready? Glasses. Or as some people uh, from uh, uh, across the globe, um, uh, did you get your fill of champagne? <laughs> fill of champagne, because <laughs> so. it already passed. Past midnight, midnight. in certain places. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> um, tonight we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. 7800. Yes. Including my newly modded 7800, the Concerto yes. Cart, two world premieres of 7800 games. Yeah. It is a lot of new stuff. And I had to delay and delay the broadcast of the show. We're yeah. like already 18 minutes in because <laughs> yesterday morning, I didn't think I was going to do a show. <laughs> and that's why this will be a little haphazard yeah, because okay. it's last minute, very last minute. But for very good reason, I wanted to do the show um, because... Lilla Pojenkinpown, mm? um, I'll say his real name, Jonas, <laughs> or what? Yo Jonas, Jonas? Could be Jonas. Could be Jonas. He's in the <laughs> chat. Um, he said, hey, I've got Chase for 7800 ready. Uh, I want to post it. Mm. And I will and I said, yeah, I probably won't have my, my 7800 modded in time. Mm. So yeah, you better just post it because it's almost the end of the year and he wants mm. to get it in before midnight mm -hmm. pacific time mm -hmm. um because that's when the cutoff is for the atari awards mm -hmm. which we'll also talk about um and then i came back to him like a couple hours later and said wait hold off i think i can mod my 7800 in time wow and that was yesterday morning late morning because i thought it through and i was like oh, i think i can do it i'll i'll let him i'll try it and i'll let him know in like six hours mm. from then how it's going and then he can just release it if it's not going well or we're going to be doing a show today on new year's eve and it went well <laughs> so we're doing the show and mm -hmm. we're showing off his game um so it would be um the world premiere of chase uh, by jonas mm -hmm. carlson a uh, little pojenkin pound mm -hmm. totally wrong pronunciation uh and unawar s World exclusive premiere by Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus. Both are in the chat. Oh, awesome. And also Crossbow is in the chat, mm. whose instructions and video I followed to get my mod going on the 7800, yep. my ultimate uh, And you AD. can see it, the modded 7800 in the cat cam down yep. there. We'll take a close look at it nice. in a second. Um... So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for helping support the show. Alna for Armscar, Coder, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Coconut Eighty One, Danny VC, Goku One 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 Two One Two, Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC Twenty Three, Carl G, Mark Space Inc, MCP Ninety, Metal Atari Nineteen Sixty Nine, Mix Mew, Mick Muse, Mighty Squirrel, MK Smith, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat VG, Cog Twenty Six Hundred, RC Seventy, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim. Scum Software, Six Sweet, uh, Smitty B7800, Socrates0603, Spartan501, Spiceware, Esmeralds2008, The Washman89, Th Thrust26, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. Can see all the names down mm -hmm. there on mm -hmm. the side. Um, and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. If not, you can still follow us and on Twitch and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter where I announced that we're doing a show because I know people would be like, what? It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually on Fridays. Mm -hmm. So I, I let people know on like short notice stuff on yeah. those. So it's a mm -hmm. good idea to, to follow those. Um, so the Atari 7800 upgrade. Um, now this has been a long time coming. I've had to order all the parts um, because I knew the concerto cart was coming. Um, so I wanted to have a 7800 that I could use a concerto card on. Yeah. That I can broadcast yeah. on. So we're going to take a look at quickly my mods. Um, let me just unplug everything. The cat is taking your spot, by the way. Or RCA. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Good kitty. 
Okay, so we're going to switch to the... Watch out. <laughs> I won't squish him. Don't squish the kitty. The uh, webcam for a second. So you can see them up close. So, nice. You know, normal 7800. Um, but here are the mods on the back. You can see there. They're at the top or at the bottom of your screen. Uh, it's an S video connector. And then there is a headphone jack. And then there is a composite connector. Mm -hmm. And there is still the RF connector as well. So they all three of them work. All three outputs That is work. excellent. So if any of them fail, I can go to the other one. And I got, oh, I'll wait till I come back. Plug it all back in. And I went with the headphone connector because it uses up less space. And that's what was on my um, 2600 as well. And it worked really well. And I thought that was a great idea because why not? Dead air, dead air. I'll plug in the joystick slide later. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Scoop the cat. Come on, come on. Oh. There you oh. go. <laughs> it's you okay. can stay. It's okay, you can stay. Not many TVs have S video on it, mostly RCA or HDMI. That is very true. And I have it running through my Frame Meister, which yeah. has all the inputs, mm -hmm. like all of them. Um, Hard to hear. Sorry. Yeah, I wasn't anywhere near the microphone. Um, so I got uh, the board a long time ago, mm. and I just got in the S video connector. It is a mighty, mighty one. Mm -hmm. uh, same connector um, that Nathan Strom ordered for my Atari twenty six hundred. I was like, oh my god, that's such a good connector. Mm. It's like solid, solid. Very expensive, mm -hmm. but totally worth it. Um, and um, so it took me like four, three sessions to get it all put together. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a blog of it. I haven't updated the blog with the latest one because I had to get ready for the show, which I still didn't even have time to get ready for the show. Um, but I'll be updating it tomorrow, the next day, um, where you can see everything there. So the first two parts are there. Mm. Um, okay. Yes? We're still in webcam mode. I don't oh, know if you want well, to switch over. I can see us tiny. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, okay. And today I was in a panic to get everything ready for the show. Mm. And I wanted to get a Pokey chip installed in the concerto car because it has the space for the... The Pokey? The Pokey audio chip. Mm. And I ordered a ball blazer to sacrifice yeah. its life. Um, I found one with a crushed um, case. Yeah. I was like, whatever the cheapest one is, that's fine. I don't care as long as the, the cartridge is intact. Um, so very, very crushed case. Mm -hmm. You get a whole bunch of stuff with it too because it was sealed. Yeah. Kind of. Um, and so I uh, opened up the ball blazer and um, took out the PCB. Mm hmm and today i pretty much <laughs> destroyed everything in it yes. um, including the pokey chip <laughs> including the pokey chip so this trying is trying to get it out yeah dead to the world yeah i'll show you I'll be what buying another ball blazer i think it, yeah. yeah i'll show you what happened to it it's very sad um mm. so i kind of pried it out mm -mm. it's very very bad some of the legs you... are broken yeah. You were trying well, to... Um... I was trying to desolder at first. Yeah. At first. Desolder. Take it all the solder out of the legs. And yeah. I was like, okay, I've got as much as I can out of it. And I, you still I couldn't pull it out. Still couldn't pull it out. Yeah. And then I went the other route, which I saw in a video, mm. where it's like, put tons of solder all over it mm. so that everything heats up and you pull it out. And I tried that and it really wasn't working. And then I got Tanya to help, and we were prying oh, it out while yeah. soldering all over the place. I knew while we were doing it, I'm like, it's not going to survive this process. <laughs> Best Electronics was, uh... sells pokies for 20 Oh, oh there my you God. go. Okay, well, I will be buying <laughs> now a separate pokey <laughs> yeah. because I cannot pull chips, yeah. obviously. You can get better instruments, I think, No right? left, No leg left to put a jump wire. Ugh. They're really mangled. Like, mm. every single leg is destroyed. I mean, it's possible. 
if somebody is a talent, they could do it. There's there's a little there's wire. Space there. There's a tiny little I mean I can't do it. I can't even pull one, so yeah. forget that. It happens. Pokey is a tough one to start with. Lots of legs. It it, it is like a little uh, millipede. <laughs> yeah, it's tons. So I want to thank yeah. Crossbow um, for successfully <laughs> stepping me through the all the other parts, which yeah. went really, really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a couple missteps, but I was able to correct them yeah. just fine. It was pretty much your Christmas so, project. You know, some people do j uh, jigsaw puzzles. James was um, modifying his 7800. Oh. So this is so. the ultimate Atari video. Uh, mod for the 7800. It also works for 8-bit mm. and 2600. Mm. Um, so it's really clear picture. You'll see. Mm. You'll see the picture. Um, anyway, the blog will explain everything. I don't mm. want to dwell too much on that. You can read through it at your leisure. Mm -hmm. It's under the um, Zero Page Homebrew Club on the Atari Age forums. Mm. And it's like one of the things there. Um, so I just got word back from Machine and Roger Poco that the these are the guys that have been making all the Activision patches. The, oh, yeah, yeah, The ones yeah. that never got released by Activision. Yeah. Um, so they've been filling in the gaps. That's cool. And they have now four more to go. Okay. Till they've got every single Like an Activision patch. game? Yeah, covered. Wow. That was never made. That's cool. And they're on their way. Oh, like, cool. They're on order. Nice. <laughs> um, the four are Rampage. Okay. Kung Fu Masters. Okay. Uh, which, which Dan Kitchen did. Mm -hmm. uh, F14 Tomcat, which Dan Kitchen did, mm -hmm. and Double Dragon, which mm -hmm. Dan Kitchen did. Nice. <laughs> so three of them are Dan Kitchen's games. Nice. Um, and I've been writing the uh, congratulations letter that you on a couple yeah. of them. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be doing a bunch more of those as time mm -hmm. progresses. I'll be doing Ghostbusters next. I did Kebobber and Boxing and Checkers already Okay. for those. Yeah, they're fun. Mm -hmm. Um, so tonight, uh, oh yeah, so tonight you won't be hearing any pokey sounds through the concerto cart. Apologies. Yeah, but it, it, it will still... It'll do all the TIA sounds, yeah, which are it, the normal the sounds. The normal sounds, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So let's take a look at the concerto cart yes. now, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, There's a lot of talk about desoldering guns, and oh, yeah. we are. Darcy was Darcy mentioning he had one. one, so that could be a second option. But uh, you just no, had one no. of the solder suckers, and and that was sort of working, but it wasn't getting everything out. Like it was, it took a long time, and it didn't get everything. It didn't. Out. It didn't completely work. So yeah. very tricky. It is. I don't think people solder with the intention of desoldering later on a lot of the time. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't. It's not. It's not usually and considered to be something that's going to be this, reversed. This is soldered very nicely. Oh like, yeah. Into the cartridge. Beautifully, like, I'm sure. Just, just enough to hold it in. It was yeah. Beautiful job. Yeah. Whoever did that 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I destroyed everything. Yeah. Um, so let's boot up the concerto cart and. Um, you're going to miss a tiny bit of the boot mm. um, because it has to negotiate the picture um, with the frame meister. Gotcha. So there's a delay, sort of? There's a delay okay. um, while it negotiates. I, oh. I might be able to reduce that delay, but I haven't had time to play with the frame meister and how it talks. Okay. So it does come up with, it says Concerto 1.0 in tiny okay. font, and then it scratch, flashes the screen a bunch, and mm. we might see the end of the flash. Okay. So that's all you're missing. Okay. Um, so let me switch over to that. Here we go. And hopefully I didn't wreck it. So far so good. Power on. <laughs> Step one. Oh, there's a bit of flash. There you go. You saw Yay. some of the flash. Okay, so this is the screen you see when you boot up. Well, one of the screens. This is a work in progress firmware. Not all features are complete. Some games may not function properly yet. And you may encounter some bugs. Please help us make Concerto better nice. by reporting issues and keeping up on firmware updates. Uh, thanks. And this is the newest firmware that is out right now. It's point, uh, 0 0.95, mm. which makes it very, very functional. Mm. Uh, ones before that, it was like, Mm, there was things here and there that weren't working super great. So Concerto is made by Fred Quimby, who is Batari, mm -hmm. the Nick on um, the Atari age. Mm. He also made um, the uh, the other cart for the Atari 2600. 
uh, whose name escapes me because I've been saying concerto a bunch. Encore. Harmony. Harmony Encore. Har- har- or Harmony as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then you press the button and it goes into the main screen. Nice. And it has a very nice menu. And you can see it's very clear. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it couldn't be clearer. Mm-hmm. I mean, RGB would be marginally clearer. Wow. But I don't see it any... Um, it looks really good to me. It looks sharp. Like not even... I mean, it's in black and white right now, but I don't even see edges. Yeah. Usually on SVD, you see slight edges around mm-hmm. letters. Um, Concerto firmware, 0.95. Um, you get a nice menu. Like really nice, because with 7800, it has more advanced features. So it doesn't mm-hmm. have to do Flickr to make menus. Um copyright 2020 and before i updated it mm-hmm. i think it said copyright 1919 19, what did it say no 2005 that's what it was I oh believe. okay or 2014 it was mm. maybe not 2005 that's way back 2014 <laughs> yeah, yeah 2014 mm-hmm. um so let's go into the 7800 utility cart mm-hmm. which oh loads really fast so you don't get to see anything nice um, so this is something that people are using to check out, make sure everything's working. Mm-hmm. Uh, console info, video region, NTSC. Um, before I updated the firmware mm-hmm. on, on this, it said PAL, so it wasn't identifying it properly. Mm. Uh, no pokey found. Oh, Very poor sad. No, pokey. no Atari Vox found. I tried to plug in the Atari Vox and my adapter cable doesn't fit. No, I can't bring it over. Because if anybody could help me find oh. an adapter, because they're so There's, tight, it's it's, it's to on the a bit top. of an angle too, isn't it, it? It's on a bit of an angle, but that's yeah. not the real problem. It's very tight to the li- the that lip, that overhang oh. at the front. Okay. That the uh, DB9 adapter doesn't plug in, so I'm going to have to find some really slimline DB9 adapter. DB9. Hmm. So there's the joystick test. Okay, all the buttons work. This okay. is a great, great utility. Mm-hmm. That's, let's just actually make sure they both works before we play any games. So up, down, left, right, left, right. These have two buttons, mm-hmm. 7800. Um, way more advanced. <gasps> One more button wow. than the 2600. Exponential increase. So you can shoot fun. and no. jump with buttons. <laughs> yes. Yep. Nice color display. Mm-hmm. Looks really clean. Mm-hmm. Um... We won't do the RAM tests. Yep. Channel zero. Channel one. I hooked up both channels. Good. And it's not going to do pokey test. Um, no Atari Vox. Um, and we won't do anything else. Genesis Mega Drive extenders from Amazon. That worked great. Um, use a joystick extension cable. Yeah. I, I have joystick extension cables, but they're... Well, I have DB9 extension cables. They're mm. generic, right? Mm. So, jo- an actual joystick extension. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think those are like... Yeah, because a, a joystick extender would be that exact yes. plug. And ah. then you, you might, m- might be easier to plug in it on the other end, I guess. Yeah. 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 That's smart. That would work. Actually. Yeah. Do you have one? If I didn't glue in <laughs> the one that I, we have on the other thing. Oh, that's so I could fun. have used that. Yeah, true, true. Um, okay, so let's go into the um, utilities menu. This menu is under construction, so these are things you can do inside the concerto cart. Okay. Um, play the last game selected. So I know a lot of ST-based cards, mm. uh, cartridges, what they do is load something into um, flash memory. Flash memory, yeah. So... It's technically the last game Mm. I played was in flash memory and it should still be there. Mm. So I can just press it and just boom. Let's try that. Oh, it didn't work. I don't think any of these work. Um, Update the BIOS, clear the high score data, discard changes and exit, (laughs) save changes and exit, restore defaults. And there's some settings which you can't get into. I don't don't think any of this works yet. Um, Start at last menu position, which Mm. is nice. Um, in case you're like really deep in a menu or you play in a certain area in your um, directory structure all the time, which would be very helpful. Um, serial debugger, logic analyzer. I don't know what that is. High score cart loaded. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, um, high score cart, menu background text color so you can customize. A selection bar, menu speed, so that's great. So you just move out of it. Okay, so um, let's take a quick look at some games on here. And we're going to load up Popeye 7800, nice. the newest demo version Ooh. of it. Um, this does use Pokey. Okay, and so it the does sound. use TIA as well. Okay, so some of the sounds will be there, some of them some won't. Some of them won't. Okay. And there's a special build for Concerto Kart that he made. So you see at the bottom when it loads, it says loading 10, 20, 30. Mm. So it has a progress bar, and it tells you kind of what type of game it is. Look at that, crystal clear. Doesn't that look beautiful? It looks gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. I can say some stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's no... Um, this is just the demo. So you get one life, one extra life. You used to just limit it to one, so you have kind of two lives. So catch all the hearts as they come down and stay away from him and stay away from being above him, too, because he can jump up. Um... So, the Concerto is an advanced microcontroller-based SD flash cart with an on-screen menu that is designed to support all of the original Atari 7800 titles and all the original Atari 2600 titles, plus most of mo modern homebrew titles and demos. It supports Pokey Sound, Pokey Chip not included, uh, and other sound sources that are on the drawing board, which is the Hokey Chip, which he says he's going to be able to sell for $20, which is great a substitute chip mm -hmm. that it does more than the pokey too oh that's exciting are there any one inch extenders <laughs> and then carl g for asking for her friend. asking for her friend oh that was bad but that's okay um concerto is reverse compatible with the harmony encore so it plays all the 2600 games that work on the encore so this is actually an encore card as well built into it so mm -hmm. but only works on the 7800 of course um Included in newer DPC Plus, CDFJ, and other ARM-based games. And you can even load the Armony Encore firmware onto it, and it will function exactly like one. Um, so you can have the Harmony Encore interface if you want. Mm. But you'd have to overwrite, I believe, the um, Concerto interface. Um, the Concerto has a total of 520k of RAM, 332k of parallel flash, and two megabytes of serial flash. Currently games up to 144 are supported and work is being done to support the larger games. And uh, today, um, the new build of EVO was posted um, by Muddy Funster and uh, Batari was talking in that thread about supporting his game because I believe EVO punch. Um, EVO is 512. It's a big game. Cornered! Oh my god, he left you alone. Run! Get out of there! Oh, you have to get that heart. I know. Punch the spinach! Punch it! No! Get up! Punch it! Punch the spinach! Now! Oh, now get that heart. Because they move? all freeze. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? You don't need to punch him, you just touch him. Um, SD cards can be FAT or FAT32 formatted up to 32 gigabytes in size. Setting up the Concerto is easy. Put your A78 files or Atari 2600 games in the SD card and plug in the Concerto and go. The on-screen menu display is 40 characters wide can be, but can display long file names up to 240 characters as well. And I believe you hold down the button to display the full name. EXO! <laughs> EXO! Yeah, that's a crazy cool game. And you died. That's okay. Just, I was listening to you, oh. so it's hard because you're talking and then demo there's, over. Oh, that's it. There's no hard <laughs> limit on how many levels deep you can go with uh, subdirectories, and it supports up to 10,000 entries in a directory. You don't want to be scrolling through 10,000 entries. Currently, the files aren't sorted. I'm working on automatic sorting alphabetically. The firmware is still an update, so you can expect to keep up on a firmware updates and the latest feature and bug fixes. I guess I can understand why... Uh, things aren't sorted in the directory because that's like a thing that the cart would have to do mm. before it displayed it to you. It's like, oh, I have to sort 10,000 entries before displaying it to you. Um, so the earliest thing I could find on the Concerto cart was in 2014 on the forums. So it might have been developing before that. Um, 
Ugh, kittens. Kittens just destroyed something. EVO moment 37. Um, so the concerto, let's see. So there is another, uh, oh, like, I have to press up. You know what? It's because I'm trying to go side to side oh, no, and no. then it's, it doesn't actually go up and down. That's, I was like trying to figure out why I'm having so much trouble uh, going up and down the stairs. Because it's up and down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's very, I was, um, it's very tricky with this, with this uh, controller I find. Yeah. I thought they were cool at first, but after a couple minutes playing with I'm them. like, because I was doing much better with the other. <laughs> With the other controller when we were playing it on the... Oh, um, that one. Yeah. yeah, so I'm going to be buying when the borders open again. Yeah. Um, the Ed Ladin double control stick. Nice. Which has two joysticks. Nice. And buttons that work with the 7800. So you can do Robotron? And they work with the 2600. So you can do Robotron with them. Oh. So they are very cool, but the borders aren't open. Um, so you <laughs> eventually, can order eventually. a concerto cart right now. Um, for $89, normally $99, um, they, I don't know if they're in stock, uh, but you can also make a reservation for $10, um, which locks in the $89 price, and then he will let you know when it's ready. And um, actually, in the post about the ordering, he also talks about... He is making a power supply from mm. the 7800, mm -hmm. a um, aftermarket power supply. Um, and he is also making a Hokey chip. And he says Hokey is a Pokey replacement chip. Nice. Um, unlike Pokey replacements, Hokey is microcontroller based, so allows for flexibility that is hard to match with the standard hardware approach. Mm -hmm. So Hokey will not necessarily just be a Pokey chip. Once the basic Pokey, Pokey is validated on the new design, um, which it's still going through, beta testing right now. I will begin working on an advanced enhanced Hokey an attempt, attempt to tackle BUP chip, plus an emulator author wants to adapt Hokey to emulate the YM2151 chip and digital sample pay playback with PCM output once the basic driver is working so that homebrew boards will have a reliable source of high quality sound chips without having to locate old chips or destroy old chips. Where's my poor chip? Look at this sort of sad thing. And he says the Hokey is expected to start at $10. And buying ball blazers are like $40 or $50. The Hokey Pokey. You'll love the Ed Ladin twin stick, S. Ramirez says. Yes, it looks so good. Oh. Oh, normally it plays the, um, the Popeye theme. Oh, that's song. what's missing. That's why oh. it's like, oh, you're red. That's the only indication you have right now. Um... So, um, on this firmware, he um, fixed, you weren't able to read small SD cards, small old rest SD cards, but he fixed that. And he fixed uh, freezing in the menu, both of which were, were very, very difficult to navigate around, especially the menu freezing. Um, and he fixed a bunch of other stuff. Is there anything, anything people want me to try out on this? James Pokey put his left leg in it, but it fell off. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. That's accurate. Two of <laughs> two of these legs are irreparably really damaged. Aww. The other ones could be salvaged, but one is broken <laughs> off and one's half broken off. So let's try. I go. I go. Mm -hmm. I go. It's not going to save it anyway. Oh, look what happened. What? Went fuzzy. Went fuzzy? Yep. Because you were fighting with it. Because you weren't letting go of the joystick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all your fault. Uh, all your fault. Nice. No, it's not fuzzy anymore. No. Let's load one more homebrew before we move on. Just to see. What should we load up? Oh, a roach in space is fun. Sure. <laughs> Yay, it's Unreal Hardware now. Because the emulator was like slow and, mm. and delayed and it, weird. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit off, yeah. Yeah, a little bit off, so it's so nice to play it on Unreal Hardware now. Ooh. 
Oh, almost got hit. Yeah, he almost got you there. I haven't done extensive testing because, well, mm. it just got it working. Um, but everything I've tried so far works great. They seem a little brown, the um, tomatoes, or is this just the version of it? Well, I've read a lot about colors on the 7800. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And it changes colors when it warms up. Oh, really? So there are like multiple different color settings and people are always on about colors on the 7800. Really? It's That's like interesting. lots of color testing. So they have to find kind of colors that work when it's cold and when it's warm too. And they change really? as you play. Yeah. That's crazy. It is really crazy. It must be really annoying for uh, mm. developers. Oh, this joystick. <laughs> It's 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 not as um, comfy oh, as. Oh, you can't as... shoot with the right button. No. No. Yeah. Oh, because that's the that's like destroy everything oh, on the yeah, screen they're, button. They're, they look quite different, don't they? Yeah. The colors look quite different. Hmm. It's there very are green. It looks really green somehow. Everything's toned down. The last game, Popeye looked really good. Yeah, it looked looked normal. There are tuning knobs inside the 7800 mm. for the color. Mm. But I'm hesitant to play with them just yet. Mm. Um, I'd have liked Erlen over to do calibration. Yeah, he's always good <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the rocks look really green. Look at those boulders. Anyway, okay. Danger zones. Pokey doesn't work yet. Uh, I think uh, the I think this 48 48 K pokey scheme is on Fred's roadmap sh um, for soon soon yeah. for sure for soon and sure <laughs> anyway okay very cool oh it is kind of getting all wavy mm. anyway things are a little bit just kind of working right now <laughs> there's some alterations I need to make internally into this and so we're going to get to the first game, which is a world premiere of Chase. And this is by Jonas Carlson, mm -hmm. Lilla Pujankin Pound. <laughs> he's, in, he's in the uh, <laughs> He's in the chat. He's in the chat. Yeah, uh, he did send me a way to how to pronounce his name one day. Yeah, he did. And you uh, haven't gone back to it, have you? No, I'll need to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, so do I. Yeah, so we can properly pronounce his name we'll get it it's yeah. one of these years <laughs> um okay so uh this was first posted november 15th 2020 this build is december 31st today it's brand new um it's 128k uh other games he's made chase for the 7800 uh a demo platformer and a uh, rail slider mm. uh, remember that one where you're in the middle Mm. And you're shooting up and down mm. in his twin joysticks. That's really cool. Crazy, but yeah, yeah. hard game, but very, very cool looking. Really cool. Like really nice yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this should be available after the show, either in full version or a demo version. Mm. I'm not sure because he wants to put it out before uh, in the next uh, couple hours. <laughs> five hours. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he's so we're gonna take a look at the. A video of the original game okay which is actually a homebrew in itself mm -hmm. made on the nes mm. and it was also adapted for the amiga too which is very interesting um so this is from the nes let me just set this up I could, I couldn't find any information on this game. Like, the guy has a web page, uh, Shiru, mm. um, but it's like all text, and he has like one line about the game, and it doesn't explain how to play it, doesn't explain background, doesn't say anything about it. It's just a game. <laughs> it's just here's a game. Yeah. And he's made tons of games. Feels it looks very Pac-Man like. It's Pac-Man without the power pellets. So you're just picking up. And you pick up the dots. Yeah. Um, there's a couple differences. Okay. Those guys will put down dots randomly if you take oh. too long in the maze. So they make your life harder. And the mazes are constantly changing. Yes. And the number of enemies are changing as well. Mm. Um, but um, 
Uh, Jonas uh, has provided some information, so mm. that's good. Um, he said, this is my first game-like thing in 7800 Basic, a port of Shiru's Chase for the NES. It's not much of a game, and I'm abandoning it. <laughs> and I said, please don't abandon it. This is awesome looking. Mm. This is the exact type of game that I love. Yeah. Where it's simple, you can pick it up, it's yep. easy to understand. Yep. Um, there's tons of variation. Um, it's and he said I wasn't very well suited. It wasn't very well suited for 320B mode. The two restricted colors are barely used, and then you only have four left. I would really like one more color so the sprites could be solid and outlined with black instead of transparent in those places. Now this is on the NES, so the NES and 7800 are about the same level of complexities. Um, some people argue that the 7800 is a lot better than the NES mm. for some reasons. Um, it just was not very popular. No, so not So there wasn't nearly, a ton of games yeah, made for the 7800. Compared, compared to the NES. Well, we're here to correct that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go down to today. Mm. Oh, actually, I could put this on the screen because it's interesting to watch this. It's not many people have seen the cartridge. Mm. Yep, do not distribute. Yep. There we go. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 into symbols. <laughs> <laughs> like goes to 150%. I love that. So this, the uh, main screen looks the same. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, 30 years later, we're going to make, make it, it right. right. Yeah, Did you type that before right. I said that? No, no, no. No, you right after it, you, you said it. After? Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Looks so good. Those are starting positions. They aren't oh, in the original. I think I they're see. just temporary. Because they're not needed for they, anything. They, they kind of... Ah! Ah! And ah! <laughs> you start with three lives. Ah! It's best to go where mostly where they they're aren't? not. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Ah! They, they do kind of head towards you. Sort of. But not like directly. I'm sure they have like a certain pattern. That guy just dropped one ah, up there. Ah! 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 Nope. No, I, and they do I, pause. I, I don't like this controller at all. No, it awesome. doesn't seem oh, there, to. Oh, there you go. Um, so from his email says, "I'm two hours into the new year. So happy New Year's, James, and Tanya, if yep. she's there. Yes. Uh, here's I some am... here's some info if you want it. <laughs> the orange enemy is the slowest, and just mm. guards the gems. Mm. Oh. And the other one drops. So the orange guy doesn't go after the maid. He stays around the gems. Interesting. Um, the purple enemy is a little faster and also places gems where you've taken them. Um, so the orange doesn't place them. See, I'm trying to turn and it's not turning. I really don't like this joystick. And I'm... I'm... <laughs> Gotta get out of that corner. I know, I know. It's like really fast, but like... Oh my god. But, but, but... Uh, they, they they kind of go for you too, so you have to be a little strategic with. Uh... Yeah, you do have to get out of there immediately. You can't pause at the beginning of this level, I find. Um, oh, go up. The blue enemy is the fastest and places bubbles oh to obstruct gosh. your way, which we haven't seen yet. I haven't played fa far enough for that. Um, if you get caught oh, in a bubble, you can't up. move for a while. Oh, this thing's awful. <laughs> I haven't had problems with it. No, it's terrible. It does move in um, grid in a grid fashion. No, so but you have it, to be it, aware of that. You have to see, like I'm trying to go up there. Because you're That's, passing it. No, I'm not passing it. Well, you went back and forth. I can actually like feel it. I'm like up, 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 and it's not. Uh, oh, I, I don't like it at all. I was oh. having that trouble with Popeye too. Like I was trying to go up the stairs, and uh, it's like. Oh, there's the bubble. Don't touch that bubble. It'll no. Slow you down. Oh, okay. If you get 200 gems in one streak without dying, you oh, get a one-up. Good luck with that. <laughs> the engine is ready to just add more levels, but there's a bug where the top screen interrupts get missed sometimes, resulting in the entire screen Stop being it. in 320 mode for a frame. Oh. I don't know how to get rid of it or if it's even possible, so if anybody knows what I can try to not have that happen, please let me know, and I'll continue working on the game then. If you're wondering about all the stuff I added, Defender 2600 sprite graphics looked Japanese. And that in combination with the colors made me think of Bubble Bobble. That and the game reminded me of Devil World. Yes, it does, quite a bit. 
Um, so the bubbles and crosses ah, where the first things came to mind. So those are on purpose. Yeah, those little crosses are in Devil World, um, which is a, um, a Famicom only um, game, which is a really great game. But I guess it was just too crazy for the North American market. Oh my god. Maybe it's because sometimes you're not holding it completely straight. Maybe that's why this, this controller is, oh. is more frustrating. Nope. Uh, I didn't intentionally go that way. <laughs> you didn't? No! Don't go in corners if two guys are close to you. No, you have to avoid uh, them. Lives up to his names. So you have to it's lead them fun. on a chase. I like it. It is good. Ah. I just don't like this controller at all. Oh, it's frustrating. Oh my god. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who helped me uh, get over the 7800 basic bump and contributed to the game and made it possible for me to even make a 7800 game at all. Muddy Funster, Trevor, Defender2600, Smitty B, Mord, Carl G, and especially Revenge, and MK Smith. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year to you all, too. And all the so, people who have joined. <laughs> yes. And what? Uh, Nobody likes the pro controllers. <laughs> Nobody likes. They're awful. <laughs> Um, so what New Year's, um, oh God, traditions do you, have you done in the past? You and your family or you and friends? Hmm. Not, not, never big New Year's ones. I don't think I've ever been. It's more Christmas? Yeah. I know your parents do lots of parties. My Christmas. parents love parties and I've never been a party host kind of a person, but they've always had new year's parties i think when we were young it was more just getting together with like another family and having a new year's party right but um i don't know what about you did you have big new year's traditions in your um, house at the house no with friends we always got together and counted down and yeah had a party everybody was drinking i didn't drink back then <laughs> at all <laughs> It's a teetotaler. <laughs> Still pretty much are, with yeah. the random exception. So. Yeah. Oh, God. This one's a bit deadly. Like, there's a lot of traps in here. Yeah. Where it's one way. This one's a lot more open. This one just has a lot to get. Yeah. And there's Bubble Guy. Um. So, you know, you put on the TV, you watch the ball come down. We watch the ball drop. Even though it's like a um, completely American uh, thing. Yeah, Dick Clark's New Year's. Oh, I got it. New Year's, oh, New Year's Rock and Eve. Um, yep. Which they still call it, even though he's not been around for a couple he's of years. Been, he's been gone for a while. <laughs> and now it's like, uh, what's what's his face from American Idol? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, not, not big, not big New Year's traditions <laughs> oh, I got the extra bubbles. light though. oh I've started over yeah no Ryan Sequest Ryan Sequest, Ryan Sequest. <laughs> Sequest. did somebody put Sequest, Sequest. yeah thanks Dan Se Sequest that's perfect <laughs> that's an Activision game yeah it Sequest. was uh, it was a TV show too wasn't yes. it Sequest um, cartoon was it a cartoon <laughs> You were close. <laughs> right, uh, uh, yeah. No. Some people have big traditions and they do big New Year's Day. Oh, they have big New Year's Day traditions. New Year's Day. Uh, like they'll have they'll have like New Year's Day brunch. I think my parents used to do oh, that. Oh, um, oh. And, ah, and they they clean them. they clean in the New Year like on oh, New Year's that's Day not and fun. stuff like that. I thought it'd be a fun thing. No, but I mean like <laughs> to clean for the new year and right. stuff like that. But I, I, I don't. Yeah, we were never really. So after a night of drinking, it would be like let's get clean the clean. house. Yeah, Ugh. I know a lot of people who like to that like go hiking terrible. or go like cross country skiing on New Year's Day and stuff. Like yeah, that. but uh, that's true. Um... Oh. Uh, Dan ABC is watching, listening to uh, uh, Dick Clark's New Year's with Rock and Eve now. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. Look at all those bubbles oh, over there. Much. Not too much. Oh, God. Your sister likes to have, have uh, New Year's parties. Yeah. We're lucky when we get get the audit, you know, the invite. Oh, God, no! Ah, run away! Run away! Stop dropping them. This one is hard. Oh my god. They can go through the bubbles. Ah, that is entirely unfair. 
Well, they can go through the bubbles. They should have to get trapped. <laughs> Deal with them, too. They should get trapped as well. I agree. I agree. Uh, that's a whole different game, I guess. Ah, Dan, I see. I stay up and watch the ball drop in New York and then stay up and count down with Chicago. Oh, yeah. Well, we're on the um, West Coast. So we yeah, get the far edge. Lots of countdowns. Yeah, we get countdowns all night. You can and watch then by the time we hit our own, we're kind of, we're kind of uh, over it by that <laughs> point. So. <laughs> Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I don't find the joystick hard to control. I, I find, just it, find very, it uncomfortable. I but I'm like, go up, go up, go up, and it's like not. It, it either requires you to be too precise or. Um, Why is the latest sub not like putting it. Darcy's name up there? I don't know. You Where were, last we were talking time. about that before. Oh, there we go. Didn't log in properly. Ah, cornered again. You gotta get out of those corners right away. You have to move. Ah, I hate this thing so much. It's like just go in the direction I'm pointing you in. <laughs> That's all I ask of a controller. Go in the direction I'm pointing in. It's not the game. It is the game. I did just it fine. Is the game. I know there are there. See, it's, it's just it's really annoying. Um, I it's know. Tile based. I know there are a lot of people who are complaining about these controllers, so I know it's not just They're me. uncomfortable. Well, they're uncomfortable, too. Yeah. You, you start but to get They tense. only need a slight oh, touch. See, I can't do that. That's that's what kills me. They only need a slight touch to move. Like, you don't need to wrench on them. Well, that's part of the problem, I think. See? I didn't mean to go down there. It worked. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't hit down. I was hitting to the side. I think they're just really sensitive to... Yay! And I didn't mean to go right. So there you go. <laughs> it, it, it's like... The it's, game's helping you. It, it's sort of. The crazy joystick. Tanya hates my game so much. No! Oh, I love your game! face. I hate the controller. <laughs> I hate these controllers. I do want to get some oh, you... Seagull 78 adapters. They adapt it so you can use Genesis controllers on the 7800. Yeah. Um, you don't have them yet. Um, you can also permanently change Genesis controllers as well with uh, <laughs> one resistor, I believe. I think my skills are good enough for that. Uh oh, death. Yeah. Oh, and unlike Pac Man, you have no offense. No weapons whatsoever. No way to No way to get them. Back. It's always running, it's running, running. Oh. I think I'm til tilting my wrist. Mm. I think I'm not holding it straight. It's that just making it. me crazy. Qbert syndrome? Oh, I hate Qbert too. My most hated <laughs> most hated most game. Most hated game is Qbert. I think maybe I'm just not very precise with controls. Like that's why Qbert is my most hated game. And um Cubert's a great game. It's horrible. It's diagonal. <laughs> like what's what's up with that? Sounds are good too, yes. Yeah, it sounds really great. These little guys though, the um the, the enemies? enemies are so cute. They are. They're like kind of frowny face. I'm getting really Don't... annoyed. I'm like I'm like really annoyed with this controller. Is there not an alternative that uh, I can use? No. Um like, nothing else works with this system? As long as we don't use two buttons, which this game doesn't, we can use any controller. Oh, I see, but you need two buttons. Oh. I believe. Is that correct? Today will be the longest time I've oh ever played God. a 7800. Yeah? On a real system. Nobody I knew ever had a 7800. Oh, I'm so lucky that it, it goes in the wrong direction. Oh. It goes in the wrong direction. And somehow still manages to save me. Oh, I should have gotten caught in the bubble. There we go. Master system is good. Yeah. Oh, the controllers? Mm. Should we change the controller for I you? I do like your game, though. It's not your game that's causing me grief. <laughs> Can you use that one? Long. Should be able to. Mm. You just want to have a second button. There are two buttons. There is no button. Oh, this one doesn't count as a second button? Uh, no. No? No. It's not a real second button. Uh-oh. No? Uh-oh. I apologize for making him switch out the joystick. Okay, press button. That's 
better now. Weird. Some grounding issues. Is that better? Much. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think the um, second game we're playing has a second button either. So we can keep that in there. Better? Yeah. Use the controller. Yeah. <laughs> this one just feels a bit more precise than that other one. Uh, yeah, the AI turned out good. You feel like you can always steer them in your direction, but often you often get lucky when you think you're trapped. Yeah, yeah it's you true. Do. You do. You're. Because I think he said only the orange one goes for you. Uh, the orange one goes for the stuff, didn't he say? Oh, the orange one oh, goes for the close. stuff. Yeah. I don't think he talked about the blues. The blue guys. Um, the bubble. Method. I mean, drops bubbles, but blue enemy's the fastest and can place bubbles to obstruct your way. Um, orange just guards the gems, so the purple and blue, I guess, go after you, but they don't. Not directly. And I mean, that's the same. That's the case with um, Pac-Man ghosts as well. There's only they all have different patterns that they uh, follow. And some of them, it's really fascinating, actually. Some of them go for the space ahead of you. Some go for the space where you were. Some totally avoid you and kind of go near you. Um, I can't remember all the rules, but it's really, really interesting. Um, I can't remember. I, I thought I saw a documentary on it um, where it really it outlined all the rules for the Pac-Man ghosts. And it was like, and the way... They all interact together, makes it so it's really fair, but it also seems like they're all kind of going for you and cornering you, really. Oh, oh. Plan. It's so it's rough when you have so many because if you die and you have two left, you start right back at the beginning. I guess the max enemies is three, because he didn't say that there would be four enemies. I guess there could be two, two oranges, two blues. You could. I haven't seen more than the three so far. Not that we've made it very far. No, Neither of us true. have finished this level, have we? Did, did you not finish this no, level? No, I was stuck. I made it all the way here with all my lives. And got an X. Oh, oh. I, I meant to go left. It is very precise. It is better with this joystick, though. Like a billion times better. <laughs> but this, this, this type of game, I love. It's so good. And it's not even as compl complex as Pac-Man. There's no power-ups. There's no not even things to get. Like, mm. there's no cherries. I mean, there's a bubble. That's about the... Oh, my God. You, I didn't mean to. Ah! Craziness. Yay. Oh, oh somebody dropped one. Oh, you bastard. No, no, no. Ah! I meant to go what? left. Oh, it's the my preciseness God. of it is killing me. Killing me. Ah. Oh, I bet Pac-Man Plus oh. could definitely tell us about the ghost behavior. Hey. Oh, you want to play? No. Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm getting another uh, champagne. It might help. Okay. It might make things worse. Uh, one or the other. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you really have to understand the coordinates here. Oh my god. Um, that it moves in a grid. Oh my god, that was terrible. On a rage reset. So I was talking about grids. Um, see, you press down, it goes one. One, one. It's no, there's no half um, grids. No, I'll actually finish the level. If I can. There we go. I don't see any smoke pouring out, so apparently he got his, smoke, his mod installed. I did! Uh, there was a, a point where there was almost smoke pouring out. I will uh, go through that in my install breakdown. Uh, basically, I was putting a ground 
What just happened there? Was somebody laying an egg while, uh... Bubble? Yeah, I died, and there was no orange on the board. I oh, but the blue... Everything. Cleared everything. Oh, no. Somebody was putting uh, oh, a dot down. down at the same time, but I couldn't see it. I think he was pausing. Yeah, he, when he pauses. He was in the middle of pausing, and that counted. He hadn't even laid it yet. Or whatever he does. <laughs> <laughs> Pooping it out, yeah. <laughs> uh, good job, too. The video is super sharp. Mm -hmm. It is... Oh, God. It is very sharp. It, it, Nathan. <laughs> I don't see any smoke pouring out of your 7800, so the mod must have been installed. I did very bad. I'm doing it again. <laughs> uh, um, there was a point where I was putting the ground and power mm. to the uh, UAV mod, mm. and I punched them through the uh, rails, and they were quite long. <laughs> the... Uh, the, uh, the wires... Sorry, hard to talk into this game. Yeah. Um, so, unfortunately... Oh God. It I is hard I, to talk and play this game at the is. same time. I turned it on, mm. and it didn't power on. I was like, what's going on? I didn't... Uh, it's not plugged in. Turned it off again. Turned it back on. Nothing was happening. Then I was pressing it. It would go on for a second. Like, the power light would come on for, like, a second. And then it would turn off. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I was so lucky there. Um, this one's not good. It's too small for three guys. And, uh... Bye-bye. Oh, <gasps> Death. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, you just get uh, cornered sometimes. And then I... Oh no! Oh no! Cornered! Then I was taking it apart again to go, oh, uh, maybe I put something wrong somewhere. Mm. And there was a part on it that was boiling hot. <gasps> like, super, super, super hot. Yeah. And I was like, oh, God, what did yeah. I do? I could hear you not swearing, but, like, making hurry, noises. Hurry oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I, and I'm like, what's going on? And, yeah. And uh, what had happened is I punched through the power and ground to the bottom of the RF shield. Um, so the essentially the power and the ground were connected. That was a terrible game. <laughs> um, so it was it was almost the magic smoke almost came out of it. Yeah. Magic blue smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I would definitely have to start over and throw away oh, everything. Oh that would have been so sad. Oh. But I resolved that. Um, that was the worst thing that happened. But nothing happened. Uh, G uh, GH Fear. Is it possible to create input le uh, leniency buffers on Atari games so you can press a direction a little before you reach the middle of the grid block and will go backwards? Oh, sure. You could do that. Um, I don't think it's possible on this game. Like, it's not. that's not a thing on this game. But you could program it so you could turn it around in the middle and it would just stop in the grids. Because once you're moving in a direction, it goes to the next one. Right? Mm -hmm. You can't turn it around. It has to follow through. Oh. Rough. Uh, 100 millisecond buffer. It's an awesome oh. feature for games like this to make inputs feel more precise. Press the direction a little before you reach the middle of the grid block and go towards the last pressed. Oh, I see. So it's kind of stores where you've pressed? Yeah. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. I don't know much about targeting programming, so I don't know what's possible and what's not. You don't need a buffer, just a way to see if you're near an intersection. This oh. has an X and Y buffer. Cornered. Ugh. We're getting worse at the game? <laughs> Apparently. I'm not getting to that horrible level that's just got too many um, I want to beat that golds or points or bubbles or whatever it is you're picking up. So it's a good little game, though. Oh my and God. again, how many times will we bounce this back and forth because we're enjoying playing it so much? So it's a, it's a, it's exactly. definitely a fun little game. Yeah. Some games you're like, oh, uh, gosh. 
You just give up and you're like, no, you can play it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the, um, what feels like the randomness of their movement. That makes these it's games so much fun because you're like, oh, next random. time maybe I'll have more luck, you know? like. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like there's a luck element. There is a luck element to it. Like, because like you do get cornered sometimes. Because yeah. your movements. Yeah. Muddy Funster, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New 2021. Year. Um, may it be much better than 2020. <laughs> Even if your 2020 went great, which I doubt it. Did. Some people, some people didn't have terrible 2020s. No yeah. one had a good 2020. I don't think anyone would pick 2020. As their best year. As their best year. There may be exceptions to that. I don't know. But, um. Yeah. But yeah, may your 2021 be, uh, be awesome, be and, awesome and good and, uh, have a good night's sleep. And thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. A mm. uh, little uh, po Jenkin pawn. Uh, I want to say pawn every time pawn. I see it. It might that be pawn. pawn. Uh, you move the distance of a tile when pressing a direction, so you can change direction as soon as you, as soon as you press a direction. I think Tanya changes last second. I do, I do wait, and I, I try to take advantage of that. It so actually is nice and sensitive. Five lives. Yeah. Oh, well, level five. I've got yeah. two lives. Let's see if I can finally beat this level. It's just that they lay down too many bubbles. Oh, and there's some dead ends. That's... Yay! An extra life. That was cool. I like how it flashes on the screen 200. I want to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. It's probably a good idea to get rid of if them. If you're far from them, then getting rid of them is not a terrible... Yeah. Like, if they're not going to attack you. Mm. Good job. <sighs> that was uh, just lucky. That was fair. Oh! oh. Oh, oh, good dude, oh, one away again. if you pause, they'll go right past you. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the guy. I'll clear out these dead ends. Yeah, it's so cute. I like it. So cute. So I um, didn't think I'd be able to pull off the show tonight because I was working on the uh, mod. Yeah, desoldering the uh, poke chip for a long time. Oh yeah, that too. <gasps> well, that wasn't... That was start over. It's not like you may even make progress. I know, um, it's, so, it's so upsetting. <laughs> the, the poke chip yeah. didn't make or break the show. It would have been much more interesting. It would have been fun, but yeah, yeah, yeah not the end the of the world. Sounds. Not yeah. the end of the world. But... Um, for one that yeah i was trying to get the, the 7800 even working mm. and that was last minute did he lay one yeah of course did. he did you were like so close get it get it Ugh. oh he laid another one it's always in that terrible corner there too oh finally <sighs> good oh, job so now we get to see what the next level looks like <laughs> Whether I die on it quickly or not. This one doesn't seem too Don't, bad. don't, you never ever say <laughs> these things out loud. As long as you keep in a... Your distance. In an area where there's only one. Yeah, but sometimes they like to gather where the, the oh. chips are, right? Yeah, the orange one. Yeah. Okay. All oh, the bubbles. Oh, he's blocked all your entrances. Yeah, I have to get rid of some of these bubbles. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Ah! See, you avoid the bubbles. Sometimes going into the bubble means you'll, that, <laughs> you'll that, live. That would have. <laughs> oh! I mean, no! They can, they can get you. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely addicting. Oh! Really great game. Really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. Simple, simple, simple concept. Mm -hmm. I want to see it higher levels, but we're yeah. we're not doing. Uh, we're hitting a wall <laughs> okay. in those upper levels. They're not bad. But... Yeah, we're doing okay. Yeah. But... Um. So awesome. Um, yes. Lilla can now post it. Yep. Lilla Poge. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lilla. Lil. Jonas. Lil? Jonas. <laughs> Jonas. 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 Uh, can now post it. Go for it. Yes. And everybody else can enjoy it as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a good little game. Um, yeah. Thank you like for it. the... Oh, has a demo mode. Oh. Maybe we can learn from it. Oh, no, it doesn't. As a death mode. <laughs> <laughs> Just automatically starts. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so we're going to move on to the next game. 
which is also exclusive world premiere. Hmm. This is by Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus. This is Uniwar S. I thought it was Uniwars. Hmm. But then I was looking it up, and it was Uniwar Space S. Hmm. Um, so, and you get that. Going. You pressed the button. That's why it started. Oh, did I? <laughs> Joystick's on the ground. Oh. We weren't even close to it. Bug. Find a bug. Oh, first we're going to uh, take a look at... This is an, a port of an arcade game. <laughs> um, and he said, originally on November 18th, when he first uh, posted about it on the Atari Age forums, Hi guys, I happen to see this arcade game being played on Arcade USA, a channel I subscribe to on YouTube. I remember this game from back in the day. I thought it would be a quick, cool port to do, so I started it. The attract mode and option screen are the only thing done so far, but I don't expect this one to take very long. Um, so we're going to take a look at the arcade version so we get a sense of where it came from. Boom, boom, boom. Let's rewind it. Playing. So it's got the boot screen, arcade boot screen. Um, I've never seen this game in the arcade. I'd never even heard of it before I posted it on the Atari Age forums. There are so many arcade games. It's it's unbelievable. Mm. This one is from 1980. It has a very long intro. Mm. Um, it was originally called uh, Ginga Tekoku no Gaiakushu. Mm -hmm. um, and released as Uniwar S in the United States is a fixed shooter arcade game that was released by IREM in 1980. Mm -hmm. It runs on Namco's Galaxian hardware. And you'll see, it's like, oh yeah, okay, that looks like Galaxian. Uh, Zilog Z80 running at 3 megahertz, 3 point blah, blah, blah megahertz. Um, background, Uniwar S was a bit of a unique bottom of the screen shooter when it hit arcades in 1980, due to being one of the earlier games to have several different stages and enemies to deal with. Mm. It was created and distributed by IREM. So there's the points. The Galaxy Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Big points. <laughs> Big points for that one. Nice. Um, gameplay. Players control a spaceship that fired... I think we can turn on the sound for this one. As long as it doesn't have music and things low just in case it blasts people here mm -hmm. ears players control a spaceship that fired at different overhead targets uh colliding with any of the enemies their fire i don't think you can hear this oh there we go now well, you can does feel very Galaga-esque. Galaga, Galaxian was the thing yeah. before Galaga. Mm -hmm. um, colliding with any of the enemies, their fire or spears would cause the player to lose a ship and the game would end when they had no more ships left in reserve. Mm. Uh, with the first stage, players are engaged in space combat, facing a horde of super mosquitoes that appeared in formation overhead. The sound is not done okay. in the 7800 version, so okay. it's kind of good to know what the sound will sound like or something like it because there won't be any sound when we're playing. Kind of like these whiny noises as they Whee! fall from the sky. mosquito -y noises. Mosquito. Uh, if the player was Alien able to clear mosquito. out all the mosquitoes, the ship would, would mm. warp and start into the ground combat rounds from here. So it has different levels. Mm. And a lot of games back then just had one screen, mm. one thing to do. Gorf Arcade is coming along very nicely. This is not Gorf Arcade. Oh, did he release it? Did he put it in the... Uh, I Has he, he done it already? He said he was going to post uh, an update tonight mm. of Gorf Arcade. Um, oh, there we go. In case you haven't seen it yet, John Shabo has released the new demo version of Gorf Arcade featuring a working Galaxian level mm. and other improvements. Good stuff. Hmm. Well, we'll see how long this takes and maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll play it. We'll pull it out. Yep. Um, clearing all the attackers would advance a player to a 
face a group of demon flies which slowly floated around although if several seconds went by without the player destroying one you could drop down a spy alien there it is um shooting a fly would also cause a spy to drop down if the player was unable to shoot a spy it would appear below the ship and start destroying an edit <gasps> deploying electronic spear uh, which, if made contact with the player's ship, it would be destroyed. So you got to stay out of the way. Mm. Finally, if the player was able to pass well, the set of flies, they would face a rolling fires, which could only be destroyed with a shot in between the segments that make up the fire. Behavior in regards to dropping spies was the same as on previous wave. So this is the ones where you have to fire in between. Yeah, in between the holes. Oh my goodness, that's precise. Difficult, yeah. Also, during the last two rounds, a lone killing king appeared during each wave. If the player was able to destroy, would remove all the on-screen spies. I don't mm. know if they showed that. Showed a king yet. No. So, super challenging shooter, it looks like. Very nice. Interesting. So, let's um, switch over. Let's pause that one. Boom. And take a look at the 7800 version. Of Uniwar, Uni, Uniwar S mm. by Pac-Man Plus. There we go. He did have an attract screen before in one of the videos where it did do that. Coming in with the letters really slowly. Mm. Um, we'll just do one mm -hmm. player for mm -hmm. now. So we've got one or two. Two simultaneous. Mm. Never mind. We'll play two simultaneous mm. after we play just do, one. Do the single first, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it has those three options. Difficulty, hard, normal, easy. Yeah, start with normal. I always feel like normal. you should start with normal, and if normal is hard, then you go back to yeah. easy. So, so three or five. Mm. Mm. So, let's give it a try. Is. Player oh, one. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Mosquitoes, get those mosquitoes. Oh, my goodness. Those came down fast and in a clump. Mm -hmm. So let's just stay away from them because, oh my god, the bullets come down really fast. Yeah, it's best to... Mm -hmm. When there's only one, it's not too bad because you can dodge it. But um, if a clump come down, that was that was challenging because mm -hmm. the bullets are really fast. Very nice effect. Yep. Okay, this is where the spies come in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So they're not shooting while they fly off. It's just kind of a I'm leaving effect. They're kind of dramatic. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. The bullets are brutal. Way faster than a lot of games. That is crazy when they fly off the screen. It's very wobbly. I love the little effect mm. that they have. Oh. Oh cool. These are the ones that drop the guys. Oh, are they? Oh, God. Oh, oh you God. don't want any of those. I think he said they don't do the spears yet. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That was one of the well, things that that's you. not done. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Uh. So I don't have to worry about those guys. Yet. No game sound. No. Not, no, not there's yet. no game sound. Not yet. He hasn't programmed that in. He was going, he was trying to get mm. it in today um, for the uh, premiere, but he ran out of time. Um, but seriously, I told him this morning mm. that we we're playing. Mm. And I said, will you have uh, a demo ready mm. for today? Because I, there it is. Yeah. Oh, it just doesn't show it. Um, it did not show it at the beginning? When you first boot it. No. Mm. So let's watch mm. this through. Pac-Man uh, plus AA. I didn't get to the sounds yet. Sad. Sad. Phase. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> I mean, usually the sounds are mm -hmm. like, oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Oh. Don't press the button. We're watching. <laughs> All the hard work people put in <laughs> to the games. You guys always press the button. Oh, here we go. Attention, the Galaxy Empire strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. Mm. Point system. So this is exactly the arcade. Like, so exact. With the 7800, I think it's a lot easier to replicate, um, especially text, because I, I know very little about the 7800. But I believe it has a font built in. Mm. High score is garbage. <laughs> so I, I think the high scores aren't done yet. No. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Oh. Oh. 
It's a demo mode? Yeah, it looks like uh, it. No shooting, but it does. Okay, that's nice. a good demo mode for now. There you go. Um, normal is challenging. I definitely want to put it on easy mode to see how far it can get. And up the number of lives. Love the shooter. The animation is so smooth. It is. It's really smooth. Like, if you check out when the guys fly off the screen, mm. it is so fast, but also so incredibly smooth at the same time. I guess it's fair. Your bullets are pretty fast, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, theirs are very fast, but yours are a bit faster. Ugh, oh, you found a bug with a high score! That's okay. Could be a worse bug. Could be a like a showstopper bug, but we can mm -hmm. still play. I didn't even expect it to have high scores. <gasps> oh, oh! Too many. Great, huge explosion, too. That's yeah, great. Yeah, it is nice. They're oh. so crazy! Love their wobble. The, um... It makes them hard to... <laughs> ah! They just move the width of of the of the enemy. Oh. oh, good. You caught it on its way out. This one's not as bad, but they do drop the guards. Oh, yeah. You're trying to, you're trying to stop them. Oh, oh. I got by. Oh, I'm trying to... There. Got it. I got one. At least I got one. Oh, do they have limited numbers that they drop? It, it kind of uh, looks like oh. three. Oh, no. No. So in the in the full game, those would be those poking would be. spears up at you while you're trying to shoot things. But they don't shoot um, don't bullets. Need to time it. I'm regretting. Oh, they my... do shoot bullets as well. They oh do. my god! Deadly. Well, I guess if they didn't shoot bullets, I would have passed this because <laughs> yeah. there'd be nothing to <laughs> nothing to. Uh, you would just keep dead. shooting until. Ah! Oh! Nathan Strom, I've only ever seen this in MAME before. Another vintage shooter saved from obscurity by Bob. Yeah, I have never heard yeah. of this game, but it's such a great shooter. And and shooters are tied for my favorite type of game. You, you, Platformers You do enjoy, yeah, a good shooter. Oh, oh I didn't even see it. <laughs> my contact lenses. Uh -oh. <laughs> are we going to... Um... I want to play one more. Um, oh, the single? The single. Okay. And then we'll try the double? Yeah. The simultaneous? And I'm going to make it easy with Lives 5 so we can see how far okay. we can get. That sounds fair. Then we'll do a double, and I'll take the bad joystick so you don't complain. Pac-Man Plus, it's probably not a bug with the high score. It's <laughs> just that our high score is so poor. <laughs> it didn't even register. Your software is saying, nah, no. No, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No. <laughs> your, your score's so low. Your score's so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the high score table no. because there's no point. Mm, right up there with Astro Fighter and Astro Blaster. Every time somebody makes a port of an arcade, I, I'm like, mm. oh my god, there's so many arcade games that just have went under the radar probably because of more popular ones. Mm. Like... Galaxian or Galaga. Um, oh my god, these wobbly ships. It's better just to stay in one spot. Yeah. Oh, these, these bugs are going to start dropping the guards. Maybe I can shoot them all before they do. Oh, two left. I got them. Ah, oh, don't drop the guard. Oh. Sometimes, oh, sometimes you just can't it's like ah he's moving oh, too much oh maybe there's no guards in the easy oh maybe because they didn't drop any mm. ah yes that makes sense oh, oh no. they dropped now they're guard. dropping them so they just wait another maybe there's round. less or it's they wait till a later round I yeah think. it could be one later round oh these are brutal it's like firing in the gorf spaceship in that one little spot mm. Which we'll be playing after this. Come on! So pretty the uh, the the multicolored um, I don't know sprites of the, oh, yeah, the bad guys. 
Oh, oh no, you have death. a lot of, no, you have a lot of lives there. That's my second death. Come on. We didn't get past this, did we? Mm-mm. Because they're really hard to get. I can't imagine those guys spiking up at you at the same time. Oh, God, why is it coming so low? Oh, there finally. you go. Woo. Next pattern. And That's you start from the beginning again. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. Good stuff. And then it just gets harder. Hard. Guess that's... Oh, I see. Easy has the guards drop later. Yeah, that makes oh, sense. Okay. So are those the full number of... Le oh, saw some lines there. It looks like they repeat. Yeah. And this is the repeat. Warp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it said there was a boss, but he, he may not have programmed it, that in yet. Mm. That flies it along the a top of the screen, kind of like the UFO in um, mm. uh, sp a number Space of Invaders. Yeah. Number of games, yeah, a number lots of, of games. games, notably Space Invaders. Yeah. Only two in easy, three in normal, four in hard, as oh, far as the guards. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and if you shoot the boss, it gets rid of the guards at the bottom. Mm. But I'm guessing it's really hard to shoot him, just like the UFO. So I'm guessing the guards don't come down here yet either. He said no, not in this game. No. Okay. Mm. Okay, good. This is pretty easy on easy. Yeah. <laughs> Especially without the guards. Without with the guards I can expect. I expect It'd be to harder. Die. Yeah. Yeah. It gets a little wobbly there. Mm. Okay, so let's set it to five lives. Is this the right one? No. Five lives, normal, players two. Normal? Normal, I think. Five lives, yeah. okay. There we go. I am on the right. I am slightly purplier. <laughs> oh, you've got purple middle. I've got a green middle. Yeah. Hard to distinguish between them. Mm. Very slight. Can I pass? Oh, I can pass. Ooh. And then we combine to warp. Super spaceship! <laughs> Can we pass each other? Yep. Yeah, I am on... I have priority sprite on top of you. Oh, just clean up with hmm. two people. Wow. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's always nice when there are I'm not two hitting simultaneous any of these players. guys. <gasps> Was there a two-player option in the arcade? Um, Pac-Man plus Bob. <laughs> oh, these guys are so hard. I don't know if you have you, to time them. Pretty. Can you even time them? Like, it's pretty I don't much know. just shoot, shoot, shoot till. Till something hits. Till something hits, it just lines up properly. I don't know if you can do... A, I'm sure advanced players can get really good at this, but they're also moving at the same time. Like, they don't sit still. And you can't predict whether whether they're moving left or right. Oh my god, come on. Oh, you got I just hold it, actually. Oh, it is. Oh, it does yeah. have auto-fire. I, I kind of... Sometimes holding it and just trying to... Get, there ah. you go. You'll just get lucky eventually. This is the wraparound. Mm -hmm. And we have our own um, separate lives. So it's... Co-op, but separate. Because we can't really influence each other. We can't hurt each other. Hmm. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you can't push each, each other push. off the screen or like block the Galagon each other. one. Yeah. yeah. You can get really mean when you do that. <laughs> it's like, you go into the, mm -hmm. into the line of fire. Are we playing on normal? The shots seem to be yep. slower coming no, down we're now. We're playing on normal, for sure. Do they seem to be slower, the, the bullets coming down? In the full game, you really do want to shoot those guys oh, coming down. Oh, if they if you can, yes, absolutely. They don't. They don't hurt you, so it's in your best interest just go for them when they're falling, because they go they kind of blip, uh, blip past you. Ooh, it's nice when you uh, when it's low. I mean, when they're shooting at you, it's not. Mm. Double firepower on him. Yes. Cool option. Uh, I think he said whether it's in the arcade or not. Oh, yeah, you just clean house of two players. 
I like it. <laughs> yes. Uh, not two player option in the arcade. That is awesome to um, add to it. Yeah. yeah. Just like Champ Games tries to add two players or, or extra options. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to kind of one up the, uh, the arcade version to make it a little bit more interesting. Not that it's not awesome to have this. Oh, I'm done. Nope. Just delayed. Another uh, snag I ran into when I was putting together my... Oh, oh I missed it. Oh, now they're dropping. Putting together the 7800 mod was when I was wiring up the uh, S-Video cabling. I looked it up online, mm. the wiring, um, and it says, you know, uh, chroma, luma, chroma ground, luma ground. And then I put them in and wired it up, then plugged it in, and it was like flashing on and off, and it was black and white, but it, but you could barely see it because it was flashing. And I was like, oh my god, what the hell? And I bring it upstairs again um, to do the wiring. And, and it's like, no, it's right. They're plugged into the right thing. And I pull all the wires out to see if there's like something crossing crossed mm -hmm. wires or something plug it all back in bring it downstairs to plug it into the frame meister because tv upstairs i i don't or the monitor i have upstairs does not have s video input um ah oh, you did better than me i don't know you've your score is <laughs> higher than mine though even though you've um, died a few times being riskier yeah yeah that's taking nice. the risk that's what it is and taking the punishment for it too. Yeah, I was gonna say, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Come right. on, people. <laughs> um, but then I, on a whim, I switched them. I was like, okay, something's, something's just weird. And I switched them around, and it worked perfectly. Mm. The chrome and luma. Then I went back and looked at the the wiring instructions that I just found for S video on the internet. And I was like, Oh my God, I was looking at the male wiring for the S video, oh my. which is the opposite. It's like mirror, right? Cause it plugs in. Yeah. Um, they don't wrap around like Galago, which is good. <laughs> they don't come back and, and hit you yeah, from the they bottom. Don't, no. which I, and I at first I was like, Oh, they're going to hit me from the bottom. I'm like, Oh no, no it's not Galago. Once they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. And I couldn't find any female wiring diagrams. Mm. It was all male wiring. So when you're wiring things up, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, because when it's a 2D perspective of, of the wiring, you can't tell if it's male or female too easily because it's just like, it could be a pin or it could be a hole. Who knows? But anyway, it worked perfectly after that. So that was one of the other pitfalls. You can read it in my blog as soon as I update it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What? Game oh, over. You game. still have four lives left. I know. Ah. I've been letting you take the... We had an option to not pass through one another. Differential setting. I didn't plan on that one. It, it doesn't do continuous fire. Oh, when, when it's I... just me. Isn't that weird. weird? I don't know if that's intentional, but... Uh, Is that intentional, Bob? The, the, the... It stopped as soon as or I Or maybe continuous fire wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. I, I'm, I'm not hitting any of these dudes. <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> these guys take forever. Uh, yeah. And after this, we'll play hard. Will we? See what it is. Simultaneously. It's just the same thing, really. Um, I don't know. I think it is because... The enemies aren't harder? I don't think you get more enemies. Do you get more enemies in the higher levels? Oh, auto fire's not supposed to be there. Oh, well, auto all. fire fire turns on when you t when two players two play players. simultaneously. So some combination of the fire buttons makes it auto fire. Yeah. It's not in the arcade version. Ah. Pac-Man Plus, are they generally the same size resolution when you end up on the 7800? Did you have to do a lot of work to them? Oh, my oh. God. Just die already. Yeah, because some arcades translate over perfectly yep. to the resolution of the 2600 or the 7800 and some games you have to fiddle with especially like this is a very vertical game right mm -hmm. and he's kept it vertical 
surface. I know a lot of the 2600 adaptions, they widen it out a bit and kind of mm. adapt it. Just like when they do modern adaptions of arcade games, they kind of make screens wider. Because people will be like, oh, sorry. That's okay. People will be like, well, it's not filling my screen. What's going on? Then there's, oh, got stuck there. <laughs> the bullet. I know. Oh, and then it continued on in the next it level. It almost got That's me. Funny. So. Game looks great, Bob. Yeah, it, sure it does. does. Look at these guys. These guys I, are crazy. This is the most impressive when they fly it off. It is. They do their little loop. And the, so cool. And they get like, like oh, they're so can't, fast. Can't wait for the sounds. Yeah. And the pokies. That'll add a lot yeah. oh, to Oh, to the gameplay. It'll yeah. make it a lot more challenging a for sure. A lot more challenging. So right now it's not too bad. We'll see how it is on hard. I but don't find it too hard uh, once you get used to the patterns. Anyway, we can stop yeah. after this if you want because it's just going to loop anyway. So, ah! No, you didn't tell me you were hitting that. Oh, sorry, you said. So we'll go. One? One, two? just one. Just one? one. On hard. Three lives. You want to try? Sure. Okay. Finish that off. Looks oh, great. What? Player, what? Oh, that's oh. a mistake. Oh, no. Um, did it change accidentally? No auto fire. Can you beat? Can you move? No. Oh. There's a second no, player. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. oh, there's another bug. But... Okay, track MD. Happy, Happy New evening. Year. Happy New Year. Enjoy your uh, New Year's Eve. The first game I played, the bullets were brutal. Mm. The bullets are not brutal anymore. Look at them. The speed's normal. Mm. Right? They were like pew, pew, deadly. So that was like, uh, whoa, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> this is very fast. <laughs> Those guys are out of here. Oh my god. You kind of have to time it up so you're near where they appear mm. and anticipate. Oh my god. This is insane. Are they multiplying? No, they're just getting away from me. Mm. This would definitely be challenging on hard. <laughs> Pac-Man Plus says, oh crap. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't blame you. You were you were uh, getting this out as quick as you could. No, it's working really well. Oh, I mean, yeah. there are going to no. be a few bugs in a, in a demo or a work in progress. Anyway. Bugs all over the screen. <laughs> like the... The bugs that are here are not affecting the game <laughs> no, play. No, they're, they're just not. they're just there. And the auto fire is great. <laughs> I like the auto fire. <laughs> Didn't know it wasn't intentional, but I would make it as an option actually yeah. in the menu. Yeah, why not? Like this is pressing the button a lot is is it's exhausting. Repetitive. Yeah, <laughs> exhausting. Yeah. But I mean, keep it in there like this why because not? of. Oh uh, yeah, the arcade. To, yeah. If that's how it's played in the arcade, you want to be true yeah. to the the arcade game. Well, these guys aren't too bad. They're kind of slow still. But I do have four guards at the bottom that would be mm. quite a menace. Ah. Mm. Uh, I keep thinking that's me. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Next, next pa pattern. I love the things. Next pattern. I guess next, like, round almost? Mm. Or next? I assume that's true to what was in the arcade. Yeah. So. They are not, um... Do they normally change, or are they the same pattern every single time? Um, formations, you yeah. mean, on the screen? Uh, I I, that was the same, I think. Yeah. No, but I mean in the arcade, I'm wondering oh, if if, it, if they do change up. Quite possibly. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, it's Happy New Year somewhere in eight minutes. <laughs> mm. That is excellent. I love it. I always love shooters. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, fun game. Um, and I can't wait to watch it develop and add in all the things that are, mm -hmm. are missing. Um, the sound and the spiky things. Yep. That is close to like a complete first version, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. 
same pattern in the arcade as well yeah awesome awesome work bob thank you so much for letting us um mm -hmm. debut it on the show make sure you post it uh a version in the next um four hours or less preferably <laughs> so you get it in before midnight nice yeah. so that it, you can enter it yeah. a playable version for the uh atari homebrew awards mm -hmm. which the deadline is tonight everyone um and it'll move on to the um nomination committee mm. tomorrow mm -hmm. or shortly thereafter well, maybe not first thing tomorrow in the morning you better get yeah. on it start yeah. evaluating games <laughs> how is your caesar that's good you didn't put any alcohol on it did you yes i did like a drop no there there is mm. the normal amount very very good yeah did you add spices or is that just that's just the mix? the mix it's a good spice level yep. this was this was a christmas present to james was a yeah, caesar from my mix. sister oh sister's family yeah 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 family yeah. yeah uh caesar mix with the rim the caesar rim yeah which is like a bloody mary but typically um made with clamato which is a thing in Canada and nowhere else in the world. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, James doesn't drink Clamato, and he has a, a vegetarian version of a mix, so they 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 can be hard to find. But uh, where's yeah. my Atari? I'm ready to play this. Yes, it is oh. very cool. Oh, so oh, weighty, so weighty. So much weightier. <laughs> oh, the precious twenty six. Oh, they're so precious, both of them. They are. Especially now. This one is modded mm. and has a concerto card. It is wonderful. Mm. So we're going to get this plugged back in. Now we're going to get Gorf going. To see the... Um... So what did you get for Christmas? Me? Yeah. What did I get for Christmas? Got some games. I did. What games did you get? Uh, what were mine versus what were yours? That's the question. <laughs> or what games did we get? Santa gave us a bunch of games. We got some Switch games. Yep. We got Yoshi's Crafted World, which we've been playing and is lots and lots of fun. Because really anything Yoshi or Mario is, is pretty much a win. Um, you got Bomberman, was it, for yep. the Switch? Which was pretty cool. You haven't played that as much? Um... Um, what else? What else? Got a bunch of, like, clothes. Um, am I missing something? I must be. Um, oh, tablets. Oh, yes. Did we mention that on uh, Christmas Day? I don't, I don't know if we I did. I think we showed off the tablets. Showed them off? No. Yeah. I don't think so. Anyway, we got some new tablets. Um, Lots of candy. Oh my gosh, so much chocolate, so much candy. When people know you like chocolate, they just give you lots of chocolate. So. Yep. Yeah, lots and lots of chocolate. And food, and cookies. Yeah. Still have our decorations up. They usually stay up until just after New Year's, so. What's wrong? Uh, I'm looking for an extender. Um, joystick extender. Isn't that one? No. Excuse me. Oh. It's, it's there? It's already plugged in. Oh, good. To the Atari box. James, oh. you could have plugged the Harmony card into the 7800. It plays 2600 too. Oh, well... Too late now. <laughs> it's too late <laughs> it's now. It's already plugged That's in. That's true. Uh, it's already it's plugged late. in. Okay, so I think I have the Atari 2600 power uh, going. <laughs> Actually, let's test it out. That's a good sign. Mm. Very good sign. We just like the, the, the original hardware, so... <laughs> no... Emulation if we can. Now we don't have to emulate 7800 games anymore. Thank yeah, God. That which was a is nightmare. Great. That was so annoying. Yeah, that's great. So this should be the input. Nathan Strum, 7800 noob. <laughs> Yay! Yes, I am a noob, but I will learn. I will learn and I will celebrate. 
the 7800. So now a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Enough to be dangerous. Enough to say mistakes all the time. Yeah. Okay. I'll get the newest Gorf. Download that. So, entertain the crowds. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm staring at a blue screen right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do we what what do we have that's entertaining going on right now? Um, We've not a lot cause... two silly fluffy cats who are not in the room to to entertain. Oh yeah. Um, Hiding, aren't they? Oh, I'm making something for James for the show. Oh, yes. But it's not, not quite done yet. yet. Uh, but it should be done soon, so probably next by the show. next show. Whenever that is. Um, okay. And it's quite flashy, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yes. Um, it's very nice. Yes. Okay. I'll get up the Gorf graphic as well, just to make it uh, mm. official. Arcade. Boom! How's that for fast <laughs> switching out systems? I would like to have the 7800 and 2600. Side by side? Both side you by just side. On a switch so you could flip back and forth? They they use separate inputs. One uses S video. Oh, that's right? perfect. So you just have to, yeah. There it is. Gorf Arcade. Mm -hmm. You ready, everyone? Nice. Oh, that's really loud. Gorf. Doing, 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 doing. So he didn't have the Galaxian level working at all. No, because you were shooting, but they weren't shooting back. They were moving. Oh, look at that. It's not 2021. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost. Will be very soon. Yeah. He did that because I'm guessing he knew that. Most, Most people, people wouldn't see it, it in until 2021. Tomorrow. Yeah. Or he lives in the future. We live in the future. Yes. Mm, that's really loud. Yeah. For a second, I have to turn down the volumes for it blast people's ears out. There we go. Okay. Go to a safe space. Get out. Nope. That's not a safe space. What do you mean? You're I guess, covered by a... Yeah, I guess the whole shield. You have a shield as long as you're not shooting. Well, there are holes in it. There right? are holes now. Ooh, that was nice. lucky. Nice. Good last job. shot was very lucky. Arena foot, is this different than the ROM you played, James? Yes, it is. Yep. It's an update. This is brand new, like yeah. an hour ago new. So, Arena foot, update your ROMs. And update your info for the Homebrew Awards. Because mm -hmm. this goes in the works in progress. Oh, there, there are. it is. Pretty. So I think they just appeared before. <gasps> yeah, they didn't fall down. Oh, this is great. Oh, my God. I can get more points because they're flying. Yeah, this is brand new. Oh, you can move around. I forgot. Yeah. It's not a fixed shooter. You're actually... There's... Careful, careful, careful. Ah! They shoot a lot, too. They do? <gasps> what? How is that even oh. fair? Oh, my God. Were they shooting like that before? Yep. <gasps> I don't remember that. Oh! oh my god. Rough. John has improved the laser tech patterns and dive bombers and added Galaxians, plus there are additional improvements and additions. Yeah, there's quite a bit. <gasps> oh, you can play again. You're, okay. you're, you, you're, you'll get further than me. <laughs> so. I'm guessing you can't shoot that guy. 
that drops all those things. I think the UFO goes all across the screen slower because mm. before you wouldn't, weren't able to even shoot it because it was going so fast. There, yeah, I can get it now. Before it was like, nah, no, nah, not gonna happen. Oh my god, gotta get these edge guys. I'm playing it terribly. Oh, did it have the rocky bottom before? Mmm. That's, that's really oh, nice. Maybe. No, I don't know. I have to look at the footage. <laughs> that's right. Love the little pear shaped red dudes. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. They are cute. Graphics are so good. It's such an undertaking to do a game like this where it's five games in one. Mm -hmm. And like each of them would be a good game. Yeah. Gotta stop shooting again before it actually reaches the target. It's one of those games where if you shoot again, your bullet uh, comes back to you, which can be advantageous if you're like, look at that barrage. <laughs> be advantageous if uh, you miss because you can just fire right again. But it can also be bad because you accidentally press it before it even gets close to the target. There's a lot of bullets coming from the enemies in this Huge game. Huge number of bullets. It's good to shoot immediately <gasps> at the center. But they shoot at you. Yeah. You have to really dodge. Oh my gosh. The fireballs are insane. They, they like go straight for you. They do. I don't know if I'm gonna it's do slower as per the arcade. Yeah, it was zipping by before. The bottom was there before. It's part of the arcade game as well. Yes, you can shoot the car for the beginning. Oh, you can! Oh, I'll definitely try next time. More, harder. That's cool. 300 points. I'm guessing he keeps dropping the enemies, even if you do shoot them. Sucking so bad today. <laughs> Could be the two bottles just so of champagne. <laughs> two bottles of champagne. Yeah. So let's read what has changed. Oh, thank you. Ah! Oh. Blank tell. Sleazy, thank you for following. Glad you ah! the show. <laughs> oh my god. You can go again. That was terrible. It says hello all to celebrate the new year. Here's the first publicly available ROM for Gorf Arcade. Nope, be sure to plug an Atari box for voice support, which we do. Shoot the red guy. The uh, guy at the top? Yeah. yeah no. The demo is full featured with the following restrictions. The game will wrap around to mission 6 after mission 10 is complete. Oh, good luck to us. Um, after the second flagship is destroyed. Save key support for high scores is not supported. I estimate the game to be about 85% done with an expected release of August 2021. To-do list, add in the ability to enter in your initial for high scores. For now, the default PL1 is used. Um, Two-player support alternating, so that's not in yet. <sighs> Special thanks to Nathan's Drum for the graphics, Atari Box Voices, design and testing. Also thanks to Ross Keenum for the initial batch of sound effects, and Steve Ramirez for testing, and James at Zero Page Homebrew for testing, for hosting the Gopher Arcade reveal a couple weeks ago on his Twitch stream. I'll add in more details tomorrow. Uh, any suggestions are welcome, or bug reports are appreciated. Thanks, and Happy New Year, John. Horrible. <laughs> there is Novice, too, yeah. He I was might... doing better last time. Oh, no. Let's play Novice. No, no, it's fine. Oh, you want to see the, um, yeah. the upper levels. Yeah. Ah! Ah, missed them. Yeah, I want to see the upper levels, because it's harder now. <laughs> <laughs> game is harder now. So what you want to do on this level is shoot the outside mm. guys because they come down a level each time they hit the side. Gotcha. So you have to reduce the number of hits they have down the side. It's just like um, Space Invaders. It is Space Invaders. Ah! ah! <laughs> <sighs> Apparently Beginner does not give you any more lives. <laughs> Love the screen clear. Mm -hmm. Just a little nice touch. 
Which I'm sure is in the arcade. I find this level quite simple. Like, there's not much to it. They don't really go after you that hard. No, they, they follow predictable patterns, I like guess. This one's much harder, but it yeah. should be. It's Just because, hard. you know what it is? It's the volume of shot that comes out of them. Mm. They shoot a lot when they when they tumble down. Yes, they do. So many bullets. Especially when they're in formation. Mm. Let's go for groupings. It is easier to shoot you them almost, when they come down. It is, but you also want to be very careful you don't yeah. get hit by what they shoot. Ah! Ah! That guy just looped around. Nice. There we go. Okay, deadly time. You shoot towards the center immediately, as soon as they come out. Ooh. Because they're really centered. <gasps> That's how you do it. Ah! That is such a big uh, fireball that comes it off is. of this dude. Dropping more than fireballs now. No, when you hit his blue, I oh, think Oh, right. His pieces of the ship. Mm -hmm. So hard. And when you miss it, you're actually creating more debris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making it harder on yourself. And it's actually harder to hit the, the spot because you can't see the spot anymore. I think you just, just want to uh, take, one pixel take off. chunks out of him because... Eh, doesn't help. Oh. No! Oh! Champ games. Yeah. Ah! Missed him again. I will defeat the boss. Pretty pathetic not being able to beat the top level on novice. There you go, that's a strategy for space warp. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is. You just shoot towards the center when they're small. Made it a lot easier. He's very deadly if you don't do it that way. Oh, the potato guy. He's so the cute. The potato sack. Oh. Is he Gorf? Uh, the end guy? Maybe he is Gorf. The red guy? No, I don't the, know the, the names. little red potato sack? Poor potato sack. <laughs> he can't help it. No, it's just, it's just who he is. He's cute. <laughs> he is cute. He kind of reminds me of Atari, bouncy. actually, when he sits. Oh, he does. Sits uh, up against the wall with his... Big belly. Fluffy, fluffy belly. Fluffy beige belly. Yeah. There we go. Where is that guy? Oh no! Oh, I got out of sync. There we go. There we go. Now this is flagship. That red guy must be gone. <gasps> no, that was a terrible dodge. <laughs> terrible job of dodging. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Come on. I love the slowdown he has in that, in the edges. Oh, you got a kitty? Hi. Oh, I got him! I got a kitty. I'm very unhappy kitty, but a kitty all the same. Come here! Come here. Sorry. John did an amazing job with Galaxians. Ha hand. If it, all the Galaxians have been... Oh, Space Captain. Oh, I got him! <gasps> oh, it comes out of his... Uh... Oh, cool! Disintegrating uh, body! Oh, that's so cool. Can you read that hint? Uh, hint, if all the Galaxians have been shot, any remaining enemy shots are harmless to you, just like the arcade. Mm. Oh. It's not much of a hint, because you still have to kill all the Galaxians. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think, yeah, that's... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, pixel pants. 
Oh, it's a pixel. Oh. I know, I grabbed a pixel. He's not very happy. <laughs> That's dangerous. But he game. is... Come here, come here. Come, sweetie. Oh, this is a bit more hectic. He comes ready for New Year's Eve. He's always in his uh, tuxedo. So he is. He's got a... Yeah. Nice. Always ready for nice a night Black out and white tuxedo. Oof. Oof. Yeah, a bit more bullets on the second round. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're there are you. more of them coming down Way at once. Way more aggressive. Like like uh, two at a time almost. Two groupings at a time. You definitely get more points if you hit them as they're coming down. That's kind of like um, Galagon. Galagon. Yeah. yeah. Or Galaxian I see as well. Um, oh, they don't stop oof. now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good dodge in there. there we go. So you're saying that bullet didn't hurt? Won't you? <gasps> Don't point at the screen. Get the potato sack. No! <laughs> Rewind! Rewind! No, I'm not getting very far. Rankings are really nice. Fade in and, and sounds. Let's see. Oh, I hit it. It's okay. There you go. Credits. Very nice. There's the high scores. Nice. Evil Gorfian robot empire is attacked. Your assignment is to rebel, repel the invasion, and launch a counterattack. This is where I don't. You will engage various hostile spaces in your journey towards dramatic confrontation with the enemy <laughs> flagship. It's still too fast. Good luck. Good luck. Still too fast. I'm guessing that's the same speed. You can as probably arcade. read it, but that's still really funny. <laughs> in your head, you can. In your can. head, you just can't say it out loud. You should play the easy. Yeah. There you go. The on-screen ranking after the flagship is destroyed. Oh, okay. No, I didn't get there this time. Well, I, I got there, but looped around, so I missed it. I'll have to watch it next time I get there. This actually is a video game shirt. If uh, you can't see the detail, it says level up. And there's a D-pad controller there. There's like a original Xbox kind of white controller there. It says you win. It's like little little creatures. There's like Tetris blocks. Single Tetris blocks and Tetris box together. Good job. Well implemented. Yeah, I asked John about this earlier and he told me you guys had an idea for it. You guys. Prizak. Prizrak. The forum says, only played it for a few minutes. This is about Gorf. We will invest more time tomorrow. I have to say it looks amazing and is a testament to the hardworking folks at Champ Games. I know I say this often, but I wish we had these programming tricks 40 years ago. Combined with amazing programmers, Atari might still be a dominant force today. Although I'm though I'm 45, there was a lot of arcade games like Gorf I've never played outside of Maine. The quality of these con convert conversations? Conversions. Uh, just amazes me for hardware this old. Thanks for your hard work and passion for this old girl. Oh, mm. poor old girl. The Atari 2600. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is incredible work, um, uh, Nathan, on the graphics. They, they look really, really <gasps> good. <sighs> Ran right into it. This guy, oh, he is... I'm wondering oh, if... Shoot, right, immediate, right away. Right towards the center ah. immediately. Right now. Now. I don't want to get hit! Well, dodge the things, too. <sighs> <laughs> that, that level's hard. The voices are... That level's hard. Um, On the uh, Atari box? Are crazy. Because <laughs> they just keep on coming at you. I can I can never tell what it's actually no, saying, but... It's a pretty bird. <laughs> Oh, I shot it's shot. Mm. Yeah, just the, the look of this is so good. Boom! Gorf has always been a favorite of mine. The CPS version was what? Disgusting? Dis disappointing. Disappointing. Yeah. Um, it was 
it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't amazing. It's fine. Nice. I mean, it was missing this level in the uh, CBS version. I mean, this level was missing in all home conversions, officially licensed ones. Because they didn't want to pay for the licensing of this game. But now, it's too old. They don't care anymore about people making homebrews of it. Hopefully not. We'll see. Remember, buy ports early, buy them often. Because <laughs> you never know when they might disappear. Ugh. There you go. Oh. See? Watch. Yeah, you just, you have to kind of time and dodge, time and dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's how you do it. Still not easy. Stop the dodge. And you kind of clear this out because yeah. you need to anyway. Just, to, it's just well, his way. his fireball goes through it, so yeah. So it's just in your way. I think it's his way. shield, really. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that was close. That was pretty good. That was good. But, oh, close. Uh, there's some more. Oh come on! I got that. Mm. When you when you hit the shield that you just hit off. Oh, you just have to nice. hit the center of him. Y no, you have to hit through. The is hole. it through one hole? Yeah, through I think a hole. I think you have to hit that. There flashing is a part. hole. You have to hit the flashing part through the Space hole. Space Captain. This is what he's talking about. Nice. Oh, I missed him. Oh. oh. And he dropped something so in the close. way. Oh, he's, he came back. Does he always come back? I thought it was a UFO that went across the top of the screen. Yeah, it is. He jumped back. Oh, no, no. I think second. the UFO goes back if you kill him. Oh, no, it oh, is no. a UFO. Both of them. Hmm. I don't know. But I think when you killed him, only the UFO came back. Oh. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And there's different UFOs. Yeah. That's a bigger one. Is it? Yeah, at first it was a small one. I'll have to keep an eye out. It's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, 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 oof. This second wraparound of this level is not as... It's a lot harder? It's a lot harder. Everything's diving at you. Really quickly. Yeah. Goes into uh, assault mode really quick. John's abilities to handle just multiple... Just sprites everywhere. Yeah. He just doesn't care. Like, he could throw as many sprites as on the screen all over the place. He has got his flicker management like really, really just perfected yeah that he can put i mean just look at zookeeper oh like there's like yeah. 20 on a line i think no it's yeah. 15 he yeah said. plus you it's crazy so when you've got zookeeper you can pretty much do just about any game if you're doing that kind of craziness oh i got two with that chip at least Oh my oh. god! I'm not gonna pass this. Oh god. Oh god, mm. you have to move out of the way. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that's a hard level. Mm -hmm. The Gorf and two UFOs come out at random in Astro Battles. Mm. Oh. You have to punch through and hit the flashing core. So it's not one spot like I thought. Mm. It is the whole core. So I was trying to aim for like that first initial like little patch that's missing from him because there's a little hole yeah but you you can punch through it as well yeah, yeah. you can but if you, but i thought if, it was that you exact get, spot if, you had to get it. no i don't think so i think the flashing part but if you hit that spot then you would win really quickly you right yeah, yeah immediately yeah really looks and feels like gorf yes i have not played the arcade no um, you've probably seen you probably looked at footage of it oh yeah i've looked yeah. at footage i've played the 2600 version i mean this plays am amazing like every level is fun um you want to do one more mm -hmm. no no <laughs> okay <laughs> oh i want to do a hard actually oh do a hard yeah advanced yeah advanced yeah, yeah. i definitely I will not yet. get very far in this so get him ah he blocked again 
want to play all the different modes for sure. Oof. This level is not too hard. <laughs> because there's lots of safe spots, which is which makes for a good first level. Yeah. And you have the shield too. So it feels like level two in level oh, one. Oh god, this, this, oh my god, yeah, this feels like the second wraparound on normal. What I, um, and I, like I, think, level, I, I think, I think Galagon is similar. Um, John has, like when the, when the, uh, bad guys tumble down, yeah. their color becomes solid. Yes. And, he, and that must be how he gets away with, um, yeah. It's just too much to do when you're coloring multiple lines. Yeah. And they're all set at an angle. But and it, you can't do it doesn't at an angle. impact the visuals really because no. as they're tumbling, it's more, you know, you're you're more oh, I knew it. you're more focused on dodging anyway. And when you they're are. when they're flat on the screen and going back and forth, they still have that beautiful multicolor look, which I think is really amazing. Oh, that's a bigger area. <gasps> oh, you get to see how many are there. That's what those dots are. Oh god. I was trying that's, to get above him. That's one way. <laughs> Game over. Ha 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 ha. I got him. I want to get to the ship on the hard. As Ramirez says, we've wanted our local okay, but COVID. Yeah. We won at our local. We have won at our local uh, at our oh, local Gorf? arcade of Gorf. Oh. Gorf, yeah. But yeah, COVID. Mm. COVID. Ours is our arcade still open? <laughs> is it still? Is it still yeah. f like functioning? Yeah. You can still go. Yeah. We should go sometime. Like you maybe to, after the lockdown is down. Out. No, you have to. You have to. Or maybe no. No. You can share with other people. You you book a time, don't I'm you? Gonna, no, I'm not gonna do it. No. No. I can't see it scary. being that busy right now. So few people would be going. So. Mm. Book it out with your, uh, with our uh, nieces and nephews once our mm. lockdown has mm. eased up a bit. You have to get like twenty people to do that. I bet you could get twenty people. Mm. You, Maybe. you've had no retro gaming <laughs> night. Just say we're gonna do a retro gaming night at the arcade. Please let me know. You have to pay for your ticket. So. Yeah. Try and coordinate twenty people on That's one true. night. Well, I have this thing. It's like, what thing? What, no, you, no. what thing do you have? People you have are desperate for things to do with, with other people. I, I don't actually think it would be that crazy. Uh, I still find it too risky. Okay, time to die now. They just have to pay you ahead of time. Ah, uh, yes. I think I passed it. Nope, one more. Oh, <laughs> oh not game over. It's so hard. Oh, oh no. Gotta make it. Dan ABC, the Galloping Ghost Arcade by me is still open. I'm not sure if it would be open right now because you can't have group. I don't think that arcade's open right now because you can't have group. I don't think you can have any. It is open, I'm sure. No, you can't sure have any I group. Keeps talking about it. Really? Yeah. I thought you couldn't have any group gatherings at all. Oh, maybe maybe it's changed. Yeah. Like, like outside of your own household, so the the restaurants are open and that's it. Hmm. Might be right. You know that's why our movie ah. movie theater is freaking out because they have to be closed. Yeah. And they're really really low low risk, but. They are. Anyway, Dece what is it? January seventh yeah. is when they reevaluate it. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. If all the people have been good over Christmas. <laughs> You've been good boys and girls, if Santa been, will get open if, the stores. If, if um, Santa or Krampus is coming Great. this year. That's right. So. <laughs> Beat you with a stick. Beat you with a stick. Kidnap you in a bag and take you away. Keep you from all your friends. That's right. Uh, I've gone this long. I can wait it out another <laughs> couple months to socialize again. Uh, we socialize when we play these games. That's right. Ah! No! Please, no! Dan ABC, that sounds like an amazing arcade. I know you've said where where you are. Get the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Is, was that Chicago? It's famous. I don't know. In Illinois? Good. 
Brookfield, Illinois. Illinois. Okay, people on the East Coast have half an hour till midnight. Woo! I do have to say, if ever we travel, we do figure out where the arcades are. <laughs> do a tour of the U.S. arcades? Yes. Uh, the Pinball Museum in uh, Las Vegas was pretty cool. That was pretty good. Yeah. They, they had a bunch of machines they there. They had quite a few. The arcade in Portland. Is a fun arcade. Oh, that Got one's great. Good retro because machines. Because it's a it's a barn arcade too, yeah. which is really fun. Okay, this is where I die every single time because those things come out like crazy. Oh my god, no! <gasps> we were so lucky. Oh! Uh, oh. oh. No! <gasps> Got one life. So many of them. It's insane. There's so many of them. Ah! Uh. <laughs> more and I'm done that's all I get one more chance really good game mm. like on advanced it's challenging. Mm -hmm. challenging probably comparable to the arcade at on the advanced mm. I would think they don't want you playing too long <laughs> they want your art quarters really got to get those laser guys right away on this mm -hmm. level on advanced so otherwise they're just they, they, they are, you have to dodge them quite a bit yeah I kind of want to get those leaders right away too on this so they don't come down in groups of three then they're on their own after that just need all my lives for the next level Mm. Pinball Museum in Vegas also has some coin ops with my favorite asteroids. Yeah, they did have some coin ops. Some, um, uh, not very many, though. A few. A few. Oh my god. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Um, we have a smaller arcade it's in New West, good one. but the owner has, a, I think, a really good selection of um, machines. And Ooh! No cat. And he rotates them out. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Hi. Oh, come hi, New say Year's hi. Cat. He's in his tuxedo. He is. Oh, Happy he's New Year. Cute. Happy meow, meow, New meow. Year. Happy New Year, kitties. He says, screw 2020. <laughs> we welcome 2021. Oh, you're so cute he and angry. He is so angry. Oh, oh, you're so angry. But you're so fluffy and soft. He is the softest cat. He is the meanest cat oh, and the softest so cat. so soft. And so mean. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Yeah. That was great. Um, so Three times larger. What is this, pinball? Mm -hmm. Hall of Fame in Las Vegas is moving, and it'll be three times larger. Wow. Wow. It's pretty big It already. was pretty big, yeah. Not massive, but it was pretty big. Yeah. Enough pinballs to keep you busy, though. Yes. Oh, pinballs are fun. I like I like the newer ones. Mm. It's really stuck on there. Is um, it? Oh, sorry, buddy. So, lots of stuff in the new year coming up. I yes. don't know how much of a break we'll take. Yeah. Um because I have to deal with the Homebrew Awards. I want to get kind of ahead of the game on that. Yeah. With some prep. Um, but I, I don't think it'll be too long before we're back. I'll probably be like, ah, oh, we're back on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, well, the moment something exciting comes up, course, you're like... I'm like, I have to get like, back in the air. Uh, when are you working this week? Can we yeah. do one on... Can we yeah. do one on Friday? <laughs> I mean, and hopefully at some point... Well, both the kitties are here to say oh, Happy New Year. Oh, uh, hopefully at some point um, some other people can join us. But it's so up in the yeah, air right now, it's while. tough to know. Yeah. They need to get their shots first. I need their certificate of shots. <laughs> certificate, certificate of shots. Certificate of vaccination. Their armband. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Just walk around. I can come in. I've got my armband. 
Um, it should be fluorescent pink. That's right. Glow in the dark. Yeah. So, of course, we have... Oh, hey, Miss Commands! Thank you for subscribing. Six months. Mm -hmm. Currently on a three-month streak. And we will thank you for your emote. I don't know what that is. It's, a, it's noodles in a box. Oh, that sounds good. Yep. <laughs> My earlier late. You are just right on time for the end of the show, 2600. Yeah. <laughs> um, just finished playing Gorf, which wasn't even on the schedule. No. But, we thought uh, we tried out. John Champo just released it. So and he like, did some tweaks. So, yeah. Did some tweaks, and it's ready for you to play. It's really Miss good. Command just caught the email. What? <laughs> oh my God. That's really crazy late. We have two cats looking at each other right now in the yeah. cat cam. Um, you can yeah. kind of see them in the corner. Let's see. That's how they celebrate New Year's. There you go. Yeah. Happy cat. They'll be fighting soon enough. Yeah. Aw, sweet <laughs> kitties. Um, so we've got the awards mm -hmm. on February 6th. That's a huge one. So just over a month away. Coming fast. Mm -hmm. so there's going to be a lot happening in January. Um, and we're going to be playing through all of the nominated games. So That's we're going to so be going exciting. back to I love that. I love two that. times a week schedule Okay. in January at okay. some point. Pretty quick because mm -hmm. there's a lot to you are late, unfortunately. But you can rewind and watch uh, Twitch. Yeah over the new years. So we'll be playing the 2600 works in progress, then the under 4K, then the 2600 com completed games, then the Atari 8-bit 5200 and 7800, which I can play the 7800 mm -hmm. games now, which is awesome. Um, we also have tap -a -mole as an update. Remember that one? <gasps> the mole theme day. He's that was exciting. Two player simultaneous. Really? Hey, 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 hey. That's exciting. Um, the game uh, Nose Hair that we're going to be playing. Um, and we're going to be going for the patch on LEM. Um, because I think that was declared recently that there is a patch. Mm -hmm. Not a real patch, but a patch number for it. Because the patch came with the game. Oh, I see. Automatically. You just got it. But it was recently, I can't remember who made LEM, but they said, oh, it's 100,000. So there's a goal to shoot for Oh, now. so they created a goal. That's very cool. Nose hair. It's an interesting game. It's, it's, it's weird. And he's got it to a point where the gameplay balancing is, is good now. It's good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, because he's been working on it for a while. Mm. Um, and, and we've got special unannounced events that still haven't happened. So I guess they're happening in 2021 because it's not well happening tonight. Yeah, <laughs> That's for yeah sure. exactly. Um, <laughs> um, and of course, we had a whole bunch of suggestions for people to do developer spotlights because I asked everyone, hey, who should we do next? Yeah. And uh, Pac-Man Plus was on the list and he even said, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. Awesome. So he's got a bunch of 7800 games. Oh, good stuff. Um, lots I have on the shelf up there already. The nice. Baby Pac Man. Nice. The Pinball Mix uh, Arcade. I love pinball. Baby Pac. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So now we can actually play it That's properly. Cool. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Yep. 100,000K. And it's possible. The dev decided on 100K. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. And a bunch more things that are. I'm really looking forward to the Homebrew Awards. There's a ton of games yeah. this year, especially 7800 games. There's been a lot of work going on. Mm. And that's really also why I wanted to get the 7800 up and running. Because it's a really exciting time right now for Homebrew. Mm. For the 7800 because of the Concerto card. And the upcoming uh, Dragonfly. So people can play it at home. The work's in progress. They don't have to wait for it on cartridge. They can actually just plug in an SD card and play it away. Just like we... Uh, Oh, and he said, S. Ramirez says, by the way, you will like the Dragonfly multi-card. Mm -hmm. and, and the developer just said he is doing another batch soon. Uh, he's asking, does he still have time to post the ROM? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, do it now. Do it now. Now. Um, you have uh, three and a half hours, but I would do it earlier <laughs> rather than later. Uh, yeah. The, the deadline half. is midnight Pacific. Well, 11.59.59 yeah. Pacific time. Because midnight <laughs> is be next. be precise. Because midnight is next year. When it hits midnight, it goes zero yeah, zero zero true. January first. That's right. So yeah, and we're going by the timestamps in the Atari. When forums. I put on my vacation rules at work, <laughs> I always set it to zero 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 
zero one the next day because it's just easier. Yeah. Because then you pick the day that you're coming back to work and you make it at midnight. But yeah, zero 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 zero. Zero post zero it. is the next year. So. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely post it. People will really, yeah. really enjoy it. What are you doing? Yeah, little Pacific savvy. time zone because that's where I live, oh. and I arbitrarily chose that. Because <laughs> you have to choose something. Yeah. So why not choose where you live? Yeah. Well, and you know what? It's the Pacific coast of North America. I guess yeah. that works. So. A lot of people in California. I don't know. Weighs heavy on this side. True. <laughs> of that's the continent. true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty it's heavy on the there. other side too. So I don't know. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if you put a scale, like you put a pin right in the middle of North America and you added all oh, the people. Oh, it would tip to the east. Really? Oh yeah. Think of all the California major cities. California has more people in it than Canada. Yeah, but think of all the major cities on the eastern There's seaboard. Lot. There's a lot. Yeah. It's no just, way. It's pretty it's... much California, and the rest of the it's... West Coast is eh. Yeah. But over there, they've got Boston, New York. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Chicago is in, sort yes, of in the middle. Because everyone landed on the East Coast first, right? Well, yeah, they, they all, all populated the, and, and developed the East Coast. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Less than 90 minutes Tons. for in Central. Oh, and uh, 22 minutes for East Coast. Mm. So that's the big one when the ball dropped because that's New York. Wish my family a uh, happy New Year. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have too many people in California. Would you like some of them? We'll take some cool people. Yeah. We, we like Californians. They have to like the rules of Canada, though. <laughs> so city city people probably like it here. Country well, people be like, ah. Vancouver's a weird city, though. Um, it's definitely a mid-sized city. Yeah. Not a. It's not a. Not it's huge. not a New York or a it San looks, Francisco or an LA. It looks big. It's not though. Because it's very dense. The actual downtown Vancouver. Yeah, I guess. That's tons of... But it's not as, as populated as, as other what cities. What other... I mean, it's, it's... North American city has a skyline like Vancouver. As big and as dense and as high as Vancouver, other than New York. Oh, no, there are tons. As dense as that? Yeah. And as high? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You haven't been to a lot of cities on the East Coast. Mm, no, I haven't. Yeah. Only New York. <laughs> really. Yeah, there are a lot of dense Boston. Cities. But a lot of them are Boston's spread small. out. Boston's like, not a big they city. They have room and they spread out. Like, look at L.A. It's like three buildings. Well, L.A. is different. Like... L.A. sprawl. And yeah. actually, a lot of the cities in the U.S. are like that. But there are some denser cities in the U.S. too. So, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, we're rambling. I don't. Yeah, we are rambling. <laughs> so thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, Arena Foot. Yes. S. Ramirez, two thousand eight. Nathan Strum. Mm. Lila Pajenkopowan. <laughs> Lila Pajenkopowan. Poen. Lincoln. Lincoln Pajenkopowan. You have to. You have to go over that again. Oh boy. I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, I apologize as well. Jonas. Metal Lunar Seven. <laughs> yep. Uh, 2600, Al Nefer, Miss Command, Yay. Dan AVC, I is post, uh, Strom, if you have already. mentioned. Uh, Blank like Sleazy. Uh, Gorfers of Heretic Arcade Game of Mine. Yeah, That's probably why he started talking. It's like, yeah. hey, I'm going to talk. Yeah. You're playing a good game. He followed too, so. That's very awesome. Yeah. So you'll know next time we're playing. Nice. Al Nefer, uh, Pac-Man Pac Plus. Pac Plus. Thank you Excellent. for letting us debut your awesome awesome game today um revenge thanks for dropping by trek md uh, anybody else whose name i haven't said uh rone lopez that's a new yeah. name gh fear another new name yeah and that's the top of the scrolly scroll nice 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 Thanks for tonight's show. Happy New Year. Can't wait to play yes. Gorf now. There's a whole bunch of games for you guys to play now. Tons. There's going to be Chase. There's going to be Gorf. Um, and there's going to be, what's the other game we play tonight? <laughs> uh, Uniwar S is how it's actually pronounced. There is a space. Mm. It's not Uniwars. Yeah. So there's three new games for you guys to play. Mm -hmm. If And I'm, I think they're posting. Gorf's already out. Mm. Chase is going to be posted shortly. And Uniwar should be posted as well. Get out there and go play those games. Um, you can play the 7800 games in an emulator. In a brow There's a great browser emulator. Mm. Um, so if you don't have a 7800 and you don't want to install an uh, emulator, you just drag and drop the 
A78 into the browser. And you can and you play, can play it on with the browser. your keyboard. That's you can awesome. play it with a USB joystick. Yeah. And we've done it on the show. That's what we've been using. Mm. No more! <laughs> <laughs> we have hardware now. Great final show. Thanks for the New Year's Eve stream. Yes. See you next year. Happy New Year. Zero pagers. Yes. Happy New Year to you, too. Gonna have to get a concerto. Yes. Cut. You do. It's it's great. It's really good. And it's at a point, the firmware, It's it does 90 five percent of everything you want to do mm -hmm. I, there's some 2600 incompatibilities with some people on some systems but for the most part i think it's really really stable now and very 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 usable um so oh and hey mk smith i don't think we said her, uh, their names don't know yes uh, mk now. smith i don't think we said i think okay. you were further off the screen actually yeah. but mk smith was in early but so um, that's it for now I don't know when we'll be back. Maybe next Probably Friday. Probably soon. Or I think, shortly after that. Yeah. I need to do a bunch of stuff yeah. for the I hope Atari next, Awards. I hope next uh, Friday. Most likely. I it's hope just been it could be games that are burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. So that yeah. I have to I have to play them. Yeah. On the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, Pixel. Come, come here. Come here, buddy. Come, here. Say, come say happy new year. Say happy new year. Yeah. Bring in Over the new here. year. He's being so cute. Um, oh, oh my goodness. So cute. Yeah. He's wishing everybody a happy new yes. year in his tuxedo. He's here. He's here. He's ready to go. <laughs> so we'll see you next year. Yes. Happy new year, minutes. everyone. Happy new year, everyone. Thank I hope, you for... Uh, you have a wonderful evening. If you haven't celebrated the new year already, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's um, yes. countdown. Yeah. Uh, all our cats wish you all the best in 2021. Yep. And uh, we wish you all the best in 2021 as well. Yeah. So. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Revenge. Bye, Danny VC. Bye, Miss Command. Happy Bye, New Year. Foot. Happy New Year, everyone.